Hello, 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 everybody. You there, Michael? Uh oh. I am here. Okay. There we go. Um, we are going to go ahead and get right into this because this is sort of a long one. Um, but we wanted to uh, react to this. Michael has not seen this before. I have seen this before. So this is new to him. Um, and I think it's an important part of the story of the Shani story because who knows her better than her parents? You know what I mean? All right. Um, so, yeah. Is, you, mean, you mean like a timeline? Is this... Uh, so her parents are dead now. Is this after they've lost their money? Is this while they're so rich? Is this like are they reacting to their relationship or they're losing the money being homeless? Like I don't think they, long? I don't think they had lost all the money yet at this point. But it was definitely. I mean, this is after her and Rev are together. They they'll kind of explain it. Like you'll you'll know oh, from okay. what they say. Kind of yeah. So let me pull that up real quick. Like there we go. All right, let's see here. All right, here we okay. go. Okay, I think we're live. Hi, I'd like to re um, point this towards Shannon for Christ, or Shanny for Christ is most. By the way, thank you guys for being here. I see you guys in the chat. Hopefully, um, maybe this will be new to some of you guys as well, but I hope that you're having a great night, and I'm glad that you're here to hang out with us of you know her um i just want you to know that things need to get set straight there's a lot of things that she's reporting that are not true um there's no. absolutely no reason in the world for her right to even her own parents you know straight out of the jump are saying that that's not a good sign you know i wonder if they've like, seen it. their videos and stuff oh yeah they had they had seen some of them at least Backing your parents or her mother, especially like she does. That woman has been uh, sick for a long time, physically, not mentally. She is sharp as a tack. I love this woman greatly. She has done nothing wrong to this girl. I don't understand why she's been acting like this, except that she's been doing it for the past 20 years plus. She's given me a great deal of grief all my entire life that i've known her wow the truth of the matter is now i have seen this but i when i saw it it's been a while ago and i've only seen it once so some of this is kind of going to be new for me again anyway um because i didn't remember that he said that <laughs> that she's caused him problems since day one his whole her whole Are, life the parents married like so this is actually yeah biological father biological mother they were married yes childhood. yeah no. So they were married. I don't know exactly what age it was, but they did split up for a time period and then they got back together. So. Oh, like my that's... brother. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah. I just don't know the timeline. I think, I think it was when Shani was like a teenager. Um, she wasn't like a little bitty kid or whatever, but they split up and then got back together. So. Is she's nuts in ways. <laughs> and oh, she's got that's I not really good. do not understand why she attacks people after they help her so much. This is something that she's done repeatedly to a lot of you people, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, she will attack anybody that that says nice things about her and does things for her. And then hi, bunny. Glad that you're here. Welcome. I hope you like it. She'll turn around and stab him in the back. Can I interject? She just, that's what she did. To, that is exactly what she just did to G-Man. You know what I'm saying? No kidding. Like, he supported her I mean, and... Go ahead. I would say, like, in a, in a sense, like with you, like, I know that you kind of dropped her first, but... I mean, it's... Oh, well, we weren't... We didn't have her. time to really, like, get that close. I mean, I didn't do anything for her except for listen to her talk a little bit, you know? But you're in her chat. You're in her chats for a long time, you know. Yeah. In her chats, basically talking to her, and then a friend. I mean, helping her and trying to get her to go in a different direction for a good two weeks, and then as soon as you expose her bad behavior, then it turns into oh, Carrie's a bitch. Wash my hands over. Who the hell is it? I mean, like it. Went well, no, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen when I did it. Loves you. Yeah. Likes everything about you. While you're doing stuff like helping, you know what I mean? Like 
doing things for like being on her side she loves you as soon as not boy she goes the other direction well yeah like when he was in jail i mean she does not think twice about throwing somebody under the bus you know what i mean and then even rev for that matter holy crap that's what i'm saying like even him if it if it's if it's between her and someone else and making herself look good or or doing what she needs to do to kind of benefit her own agenda she's gonna do it like that's just the way that she works that's why i tend to think that she is like a narcissist because it doesn't seem like she really is capable of like having real genuine empathy for people she's good at pretending that she's having empathy for people but when it comes down to it she really doesn't care you know but i think it's it's for herself like even the empathy that she fakes it's all for her right like if- if oh she's yeah. Be doing without something. She can fake sadness because she's sad. She's gonna do without something. Right. It's a mani- it's a manipulation thing. It's not actual empathy. She yeah. just does what looks like empathy to try to manipulate people in the way that she. We need to have that guy who who's like a psychiatrist or psychologist um, mm-hmm. to like kind of yeah untangle some of this. He's give. I've gotten a lot of and 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 from that point of view they they definitely do think that she is borderline not so much narcissist so that's coming from somebody that knows a little bit more than i do but anyway let's finish getting into this we're only a minute in and we're already like I'm oh, sorry God. first God. of all hello everybody this is my first live Hi, stream i've never done a live stream before i've only tested the live stream thing out um I just want to make you aware that my husband was here on the day that uh, Shannon's last video talks about. He was here the entire day. We had the police over how many times that day? Three. Three times. Yeah, he was here the whole time, which is one I had thing. To take but off he was work here. At times. Yeah, he had to take off work lots of times because of her antics, for lack of a better word, and whatnot. But. Um, isn't it weird too to like seeing them? Would you expect that this is where Shani came from? I was just I was gonna say that I just didn't want to keep interrupting, but this is just not who I expected. I didn't expect them to look like this. I didn't expect them to act like this. Be maybe this normal. Um, Hold on one second, baby. Yeah, just thing. Miss Jamie. They did pass away. Unfortunately, they both passed away this past year. Um, like I think like six months apart from each other. That's Her dad passed. Part man. Yeah, her dad passed away first, and then her mom passed away. I believe it was in February that her mom passed away. And I think her father was, like, in August of last year. So, yeah, but they just seem really... And now, I will say, playing devil's advocate, you know, obviously, they're not perfect parents. You know what I mean? Like, there's going to be some things that they probably did not do right and and some things that shanny's justified in feeling i just don't think it's what she tries to make it out to be you know what i mean but i I do think that there was probably you know there's got to be some stuff that went down that that because they did create her you know what i mean like that and and nobody's perfect so to say that that everything that they say is is going to be right or whatever is just not going to be the case what is the video that they're they're referencing right now though they said the, the video that she was talking about did something happen with her and the parents oh well she just continually talks about them and in different things i mean especially her mother especially her mother telling people these like crazy stories about that her mom abused her and and like i'm talking about crazy stories like that she would pop her arm out of socket and put it back in that she would that she waterboarded her with beer but that's part of her i think that's part of her um mental health issue because she like absorbs david's like she hears stories and literally absorbs Mm -hmm. them Mm -hmm. them a little bit exactly exactly Mm mm-hmm it's very right, weird. You know, like they'll, they'll lie when the truth is when the truth will do. Right. Well, that's what, yeah. Especially like it seems that, that like compulsive liars or pathological liars. You know what I mean? They lie yeah. even when they don't have to. She's definitely one. going to say stuff no matter what. She does have borderline personality disorder, and I have not responded to her. I've closed my accounts down um, because she had little trolls that were bothering me. He knows because I said, oh, I'm got to do this. I can't take this anymore. I see. And I- really, Sabella, do you think that's what it was that um that they kind of spoiled her a little too much? Because Sabella said they indulged her too much. And I can attest to the fact that their other children are protect- 
productive, happy, normal members of society. So you got a point there. You know, they if they created good kids, they create bad kids. And you just never know, I guess, like what what's going to – there's always kind of like a bad egg in the mix there. Um, the Prime Mover, thing. thank you so much for the super chat. You said, tip to drag, may as well tip you too. Thanks for the contact content and good luck wait waterboarded with beer yes prime mover waterboarded with beer she claimed i'll have to show you guys that uh a clip from when when she said that because she said it on a stream and i remember when i saw it and heard it the first time i was like what like the stories that she comes up with are just really really out there but anyway thank you prime mover so much but, for the super chat thank you um the as far as like the siblings go there can i'm a the middle of five and there is such a wide range and we grew up i mean we are all like from the bottom to the top we're only about eight years apart mm -hmm. um, and there's such a wide range uh, of personalities of careers of lifestyle i mean right everything. Um, oh yeah so <laughs> there's always a there's always a weird one Right. David said she stole the arm out of socket story from me. She altered the story of my mom twisting my my broken arm when I was 13 years old. I remember he was telling me about that. I mean, this so that's sick. where that came from. But David's had yeah. a rough one. And if he told her all that stuff, who knows what she's going. Am I too low? David said he can barely hear me. Uh Oh, let's turn it up then. Here. See if that's a little bit better, guys. How's that, David? Is that a little bit better? I don't want to make blow their eardrums out either, but I turned it up quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, Sh Shani for Life said five kids in eight years. Damn. Yeah, they weren't all. They're not. Um, we weren't all biological. We we grew up together. Right. There was two girls that were from a previous relationship, and then wait, where? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So then your three brothers. It's th three boys and three then two boys. girls. That. Yeah. Yeah, the we girls got together pretty Go young. We yeah, got together pretty young. Yeah. Okay. I, there's a lot of people like in the community. Just tell me if the sound is a little bit better with him now that I turned that up. If it's still low, let me know and I'll turn it up some more. Um, the uh, great debate community that I absolutely have a lot of respect for and have been very supportive um, during this this time when Shannon does nothing but attack her family, um, mostly me, I got to admit it, but uh, I'm trying to take this where I'm not, you know, blubbering or crying about it or anything. Cause I have to remember that she does have a mental illness and. Um, um Sabella, somebody's asking um, how long ago was this? Was this like, 2018 2019 sabella do you know the exact date i'm not sure that i i don't think it has the date here so i'm not sh exactly 100 percent sure um how long ago that was <laughs> prime mover that's my husband he's he's uh doing these reaction um streams with me where he because i've you know seen a lot of the shanty stuff already but he hasn't so now i'm torturing him with all the content that he has never seen okay this was 2015 oh, wow, wow. This, that lot, was a while back ago. yeah wow i just Crazy. wonder what the video is that they're talking about like what what did she say um i would i i would venture to guess it's just one where shanny got on there saying all kinds of horrible stuff about her mother abusing her and stuff wait a minute somebody, sabella said 2019 i believe is when the this video is from so you get the regardless whether 2019 20 it was a while ago it was right. a while ago in their relationship but ever since i mean from what i saw in all the content that shani's ever put like i've never really seen her in the very beginning she talked about her mom nicely because she lived with them at one point you know what i mean she was actually living in the same house there's footage of her mom of her you know crying drinking crying in the backyard and her mom comes out and actually consoles her and is trying to be there for her so they had there was a i think it was after the what her first uh the not her first marriage but the marriage with chris that that relationship when that broke up she moved back in with with the parents and so you know but that didn't last too long before they started being at each other's throats and then that's when she basically just 
showed up to uh, Jason's door with the kids like, here we are. I'm moving in. And he wow. and he let her and they've been together ever since. So uh, a lot of the behavior and the characteristics that she has are characteristic of borderline personality disorder. Um, I was originally going to have this this uh, live stream. Originally, I was going to do it Saturday night. I let a couple people know. Of course, they didn't answer me back on it, and I don't blame them. Um, I think a lot of people kind of want to get away from her, and with especially with the situation, um, with the way she's been presenting herself online, for lack of a better way to say it. Well, I know too, babe, like another, another thing about, um, what Shani was putting out there is they, she concocted this whole story, which I believe that it, she concocted it. I don't believe it was true where she claimed that she, when she was working, when her and her boys, cause her boys were living there with the parents too, obviously. And, um, so she was, was would be at work or do you think where she was not at home and the boys were there by them, by, without her, not by themselves, but without her there. And supposedly, the you know they were using the restroom in the bedroom on the floor, and that and her parents will talk about that. Her her mom talks about that in a, another video that she did, where she said that the floor was like they just ruined that that room and had to replace the carpet and things because they were for for some reason peeing on the floor. Well, then Shani's story to that, that she came out with was that, yeah, they were peeing on the floor, but it's because her, her mom had them locked in the room and wouldn't allow them to come out to use the bathroom. Wow, dude. So yeah. Uh, you know, I tend to believe the mom and, and their side of things just because we know that that behavior has continued long after they lived with her you know what i mean they were i mean still... are they are they sleepwalking and like peeing or like are they just that's just where they pee that's just where they're peeing that is like that is like a trauma reaction or like a right a... oh yeah that's it's crazy. like a sign of severe abuse when when kids are doing that yeah so wow yeah there's definitely a lot of a lot of stuff going on that luckily now that they are the boys are out of there they're getting therapy and and probably learning how to deal with these things that they never knew how to deal with before you know what i mean because shani wasn't giving them the proper therapy and things that they needed to deal with whatever is causing that kind of behavior and i mean that's just the way that they were brought up too i guess you know what i mean if they if she made like it was okay then that's what they got used to i guess you know but it's wow. yeah it's, it's not a good sign it's not a good sign recently um, no this is not new um, all things spooky. This is um, from years ago. Uh, her parents actually, unfortunately, passed away, so they're not around anymore. But this is their side of the story. Um, you know, Shani has shared, been very vocal about her feelings on them. So I figured that um, this would be something good to show to show people kind of more of the story, so you get a, a bigger view of what has been going on. Um, I had to step away from her. I had to step away from people on YouTube um, that knew her and um, listening to how they're trying to figure out why she's the way she is and why she keeps lying and why, you know, she she says the things that oh, she wow. does and always stirring. Isabella up. said they were never house trained. They also used to throw dishes away and stuff toilet paper behind the toilet. So there was issues going on. They just were never taught that, you know, how to care for the, for the area that they're living in. You know what I mean? I think there's going to be a lot more come out. Like now that they are in a normal household, getting therapy and, I'm sure talking to professionals, I think a lot, I don't think they'll ever get them back because I think a lot more will come out that they've just been neglected. Right, I agree. Enough trouble. She attracts. She likes to attract negative attention, and the purpose of this video is not to give her negative attention. It's pain lash. 
she addresses these things about her mother, but she forgets that her father was here during yeah. the time that she lived here. And especially that. Yes. Someone said almost feral behavior. Yeah, that is. That is so true. Oh, yeah. They're like, they're really the, the jungle book. Last day that she keeps talking about over and over again. But um, anyway, what I want to do is I want to have Joe take a look at the video. I'm going to bring the video up of um, what she made today and what she said. This is the first time he's ever seen one of her videos in its entirety. So um, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. You know. I'm so sorry. I hope I don't start crying. Uh -oh. But I don't think I'm going to. I'm just angry about Poor guy. attacking you like this. Yeah. It's just so often. She has no reason for it. She's got a good life now, doesn't she? Well, that's really a, that's the thing. I mean, she has everything that she wanted, Sorry, that she Joe, said that anymore. she wanted, and she's got it now, and she has all the weed she wants. Maddie, we're still really early into it, so you did not miss much. Wants to smoke. She's able to buy whatever she wants. She called me materialistic last year. If you remember. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sabella said, well, you have to remember the first time they got taken away, they were taken away because they were playing with her sex toys and didn't have regular toys. What? <laughs> I did not know that. That, mm, God, that's horrible. Because I went to the dollar store and I bought decorations for my Christmas tree. And she's the one with them. And uh, I'm not materialistic. I'm actually like this little bumpkin who, you know, grows her own food. And, you know, a lot of the things that I have are secondhand. And, and she's the one with the velour stiletto. And it's stiletto. not just me. I mean, that's just how we choose to live. The velour stiletto chairs. <laughs> You didn't see those chairs, did you? No, but I mean, God. Well, I know. All right, that's her choice. You know, she wants to live like that. That's yeah. fine. I don't have a problem with that. I want her to be happy with her life. I really do. Well, and why can't she just be happy with what she gets? Yes, Sabella, I did hear that. I did hear that that's why Chris married her, was to help her get the kids back, because she had lost custody of them back then. So, you know, this time now that she just lost them, this isn't the first time she's lost them. This is the second time. So, uh -oh. yeah. She has know that because, we're all right. Hi, Sydney. Because, I mean, she knows we're all right. We are okay. I mean, we got some physical issues, but damn it, we're happy together. We Aww. love each other. Aww. We've had a lot of physical issues. I had uh, two major heart surgeries in the last two years, and I actually spent a good portion of every week of my life and sometimes every other day in a chair receiving blood products. My blood, I, I was bleeding somewhere internally and it took them, actually took them two years to figure out where that was coming from. Oh, wow. Believe it or not. Jesus. Um, we have issues with the hospital, but, and we've switched hospitals since then and I'm doing well. I feel a lot better oh, than I have heart. in a long time. Wait a and minute. And my husband has, ha wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Egyptian, you said this is the fifth time. Do you do you mean this is the fifth time? Wait, and then Petty Patty said no. This is the sixth time. They've been got taken from her six times, five or six times. Good God, I didn't know that. Oh my I didn't, gosh, I, I didn't know that. So obviously, I don't know as much about the backstory as I thought I did because. I had no idea that it had been that that many times. So that's awful. Had, you know, surgery. Two knee surgeries. Yeah. Kidney and, surgery. And this is about and the And I time. got another one coming up. Yeah, he does. He has another one. Could I imagine up. her playing with her toys? No. Not at all. Like it's part of you part of you wants to like laugh at something like that, but then then you think about how that's gonna affect the kids when they get older, you know what I mean? And the fact that they saw that stuff, that they were playing with that, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Up and That's just we sick. just try to stay strong for each other. We're, we're just hanging in here, you know? I mean, the last thing I want to do, I don't have any problem. We, we, I'm going to be united on this, right? No. We don't have, we don't have any problem with our other kids. We have a very None. we have a very happy family. We have grandchildren. Um, 
we're we're actually going to be all together in November. Except for Shannon and for, her family. Yeah. And well, really, honestly, when we do get together as a family, what she doesn't realize is that we all end up at some point in the holidays talking about her and how much it and hurts how much not having her. her there and how much we miss her. You know, and we miss her. Aww. She left us before she left us physically. I mean, whatever her mental illness has done to her. And I don't want to use her mental illness always as an excuse because she does um, make choices for herself. Um, she's had every, I know I get a lot of questions all the time from people on YouTube that, you know, watch her behavior. And it's like, well, ha I know Christina Blackfeather, um, oh, several people have asked, you know, well, hasn't she gotten any therapy? And yeah, she's gotten therapy over the years. And many times the problem is our, our mental health system is so poor in this country that when you don't have health insurance, it's really expensive. And it's really go. not that great in this area either. No, it's not that great in this area. We're, we're, we're really limited up here because we're... The I don't know, though. I honestly feel like when it comes to the mental health um, aspect of things for her, I feel like she does know a lot about these things. She's studied stuff, like as much as we make fun of her pretending that she's went to school and all that kind of stuff. She does know quite a bit because she's looked it up. And it's like, I don't know that she would ever be able to get like true help anymore because I feel like she just, she would know how to manipulate it. You know what I mean? She knows what the right things to say are and the wrong things to say are. You know what I mean? I don't know that she's capable of like really being honest with herself does that make sense yeah I, I don't know that she she knows the sound bites you know like she knows what she needs to say to convince people and maybe she has bpd maybe she has all the things she says but i think she just uh reads like the google or the you know med med what is it um web md web md all that good stuff just to get like the highlights and the the mm -hmm. bold print to be able to say the right words and the right symptoms to make people think she has this stuff. Um, because I, right. I don't think, I think that she is just a, um, a bad person. And a lot of that is, you know, yeah, her problem. Right. Well, that's where, you know, you don't want to like for, at least for me, like you want to think that she's like, that there's just things that have happened to her in her life or, you know what I mean? Like I always try to look, for the best through somebody but like there just really isn't anything there that's good about her like it's it's bad it's really bad so far the area north, here has failed her yeah we're definitely um, i mean she had mental health issues here and was and social services was aware of it and they didn't they didn't help her it didn't help her at all no it didn't help her at all um she had lost her kids while she was here and it's ironic because she, I notice in her videos, she's always trying to blame me for calling social services. But the person that called social services on her was her ex-husband's mother. She's the one that called. And my husband always said, why didn't you just What's going call on me with at the dog? work? I could have calmed her down. You know, we could have taken care of this. Molly. That's my dog. Sorry. Come here, baby. You can tell that's a little dog. Are you going to show her? Yeah, this is Molly. She's kind of scruffy. Don't worry, Cindy. You're not too late. Really We're still just getting into it. <laughs> Sorry. Little puppy. Don't bark no more. But, um, yeah, her. what happened is, uh, speaking of the mental health uh, situation, you getting back to that, uh, it costs a lot of money to go see someone. Sometimes they want to see you every week. Sometimes they want to see you once a month. Even at once a month, the fees are so high. And when you're working on minimum at at a minimum wage job, or like her, not working at all, which is, she does most of the time. She really, since she was the person, her first job, she's never had a job longer than just a few weeks. She, but that's also oh my typical God. of people with like borderline personality her, disorder. Yeah. And, oh um, yeah. Like she'll, she'll get a job oh, and then babe, she'll, you know what? Let's have, we're going to do, I want to show you guys one something. I showed this earlier this morning. Oh, David, David said if she was diagnosed in the Navy, like she said, she would get VA 
benefits, regardless of how little time she spent in training, she could easily get treatment. So it's a lie that the Navy diagnosed her. I believe that, David. I believe that. And thank you so much for the super chat, David. You are awesome. I really appreciate that. Um, but let me pull this up really quick because, you know, I, actually I'm nowadays, this. If, if they diagnosed her in boot camp, um, they wouldn't be able to wash her out like that. They would have to uh, at least stable, you know, get her stable and get her some sort of treatment before they. Oh, could. really? Um, yeah. So I, I don't I don't think it's true either. All right, let's see here. Is this it? One second, guys, because when I saw this this morning, oh my God, Ev me and everybody else about freaking lost it because you're not even going to believe the shit that she says, babe. Hold on. Let me share the screen really quick. If her OnlyFans pops up and you're tricking me. Oh, like, yes. no, it's not her OnlyFans. Come on now. I wouldn't do that. Even I wouldn't do that. All right. Here we go. Watch this, you guys. If you guys didn't see this earlier today, you're in for a treat. Because this, it just, just, I'm not even gonna going to say anything else. Her eye? Just watch this and listen to what so she says. So Jason's on, um, I think, Facebook. And he sees this, like, meme. And it said the most stupidest thing I think I've ever read. It said, rich people need to be like the working class. And start and get a real job and start working like the rest of us and stop um, piggy tailing off the piggy tail piggy tailing. That's the first that? stupid. <laughs> what is that? I think she meant piggybacking and, and living off <laughs> the working oh, class. God. And I sat there and I was thinking. No, rich people don't live off the middle class or the poor at all. They don't piggyback on them at all. And I, I, I just see that. And, and the fucking assholes saying that rich people don't have jobs. I believe they do have jobs. And usually they stay about 16 hours a day on their job. They work hard for what they earn. And, and yeah, you can bitch and complain and say, she oh, it's unfair because they're cult. making more money than me. Yeah. Me, blah, 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 blah. But, you know, that's the position they're in. You know, I, I'm sure they didn't ask to be in that position. It's a very hard position to be. But to say that they're living off you guys is complete fucking lies. If anything, you guys are living off them. Oh, it's about to get taxes, good. Because most of you guys are on the welfare system. Oh, really, Shannon? And you're taking the money from the <laughs> Not rich, us rich people, people and you're using it for yourself. And then you're bitching about the rich. While you get to while you get to work 40 hours a week or 28 hours, 38 hours because you're probably part-time because most jobs are part-time. And then you go your collect job, your little maybe. welfare check and your fucking food stamps and, you know, have a good old <laughs> fucking day. Don't, don't I, I mean, I'm not really knocking the lifestyle. I lived that lifestyle for years, most of my life, in fact. Oh, don't worry. You're going to live it again. Yeah. I was on welfare. Because you can't fucking survive on a fucking income like yours. But to blame it on the rich is so fucking unfair. You can't fucking blame that shit on the rich. What you should be blaming it on is your government, especially your democratic government. Because, see, while they're go. not voting to raise the minimum wage up, they certainly are voting to uh, raise their salaries. And I think it's happened now 21 times the Democrats have voted to raise their salaries, and it's gone through, while they've denied you guys minimum wage increase. Let's see. Let's say they increase the minimum wage. <coughs> it's not going to do the company any good because they're still being paid the same same rate. If anything, the company's going to take a loss. Someone's going to get fired for that. What they need to do is start putting limits, limits, 
and put in laws and establish in laws over rent. Hmm? Oh, did you hear that? They need to lower the fucking rent. You know, you know that one guy that ran. Imagine that, that she wants to lower the rent because she was freaking living so in a place want... $3,000 a month. So you... The rent's too damn high. You want government's hand in rent. In that, too. right, Jesus. right. That's what they need to do. The government needs to go and put themselves in the in areas around the country and see what the uh, mixture, like do a census, for instance, and um, figure out who who's middle class, who's you know lower class, and how much rent is in that area, and then do a mandatory um, lowering of um, rent so it can fit the minimum wage standards i say 40 hours a week you know make the rent like 40 hours a week and then what you know the comp the mortgage companies can figure out what the fuck they're going to do after that you know wow but great, i think great the government idea. needs the to interfere with rent hours. this bitch is stupid she's an idiot and rent only i don't think i don't think raising the minimum wage is going to do any fucking good because you're be damaging the companies. What we need to do is put limit on the rent. Just socialize. We need to fucking the free just market. stop this fucking homeless shit in this country. You idiot. Knowing there's houses that no one's living in that someone could live in. How about give everyone in America a house? Okay. And then we just work for mi mi what we need. I say that fucking works. That's what they used to do before they started saying, no, oh, this is didn't. my land. This is my land. You pay for this amount. You pay for this amount. You pay for this house. The, you pay what? For this when house. did they ever give people houses? No. Yeah. Now uh, people all will have houses. Talking about. And we will solve she problems in this idiot. country. And we can finally, you know, get our shit together. <laughs> you know? Have government contracted housing for the poor. They already there. have that. Problem solved. In hood, Problem that's solved. take all those Pretty abandoned much. houses and fill them up with poor people. Where are, where are there all these abandoned houses? It's not that houses? fucking hard. Shanty for governor. But <laughs> our government's gonna fail on that because you they don't idiot. listen. They don't see a brilliant idea. A brilliant idea. A brilliant <laughs> plan, but no. Rich people do not piggy piggyback on the poor Piggy people. tail. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. At least you guys have fucking jobs. I wouldn't fucking complain much. At least you have fucking jobs. Better than with Obama, he didn't have, have any jobs. Now you have fucking jobs in this country because of Trump. So why aren't you, you working him. one? This month of October, so you're for Trump, he brought... But for socializing housing? She doesn't, she doesn't know what the fuck she's doing. 138,000 jobs into the country. You should thank the president for that. And Nancy Pelosi came along and said that wasn't good enough. Fuck. Obama sometimes would bring in 5,000 or 8,000 jobs. Ooh. When are you going to get a job, Shani? No kidding. It's okay, though. You have so many opinions it's on okay, jobs, though. but you don't ever want to work one. To be trampled over the feet of man. And treated like total horseshit because they're fucking jealous that you they have something that you don't or you have something that they don't. Mm. And I think that's all these comments. She kind of looks it's like jealousy. Um, it's who's jealousy. that guy Van Zant from the E Street Band? Oh, the you talking about Bruce Springsteen? Guy? Yeah, what was the guy? Uh, something Van Zant. I know who you're talking but about. Always that that his name. See, that's what she kind of looks like. You're working your ass off and you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> yeah, most people are. Are working their ass off and not getting anywhere. Was stuck in that <laughs> fucking Van cycle Sant. for there fucking you go. years. <laughs> and I hated it. And I understand the frustration, but you can't blame <laughs> Nick said I thought Sam Kennison. <laughs> it's just how life is. She does you look work. like him. 
or you know, Sibo your grandparents from, would fucking the, roll under their fucking tables how fucking lazy this generation is. Like, it's like, you, you got a job no, and you're no, complaining no. you have a job. Oh. You know, we're talking Isn't about people who fucking Isn't live in shacks. I'm not sure. Yeah, he he was on The Sopranos, right? Yeah. So that was, yeah, same person. And here you are, living in an apartment and you have cable internet. But yet you're still fucking complaining because you have to work. You can't sit on your ass all day and stay on the internet. Are you hearing this shit? <laughs> Are you hearing this shit, you guys? Apartment and you have cable internet. But yet you're still fucking complaining because you have to work. You can't sit on your ass all day and stay on the internet. Wow. That's rich Trust coming me, from you. It's not the best of lifestyles. You eventually get bored of the internet and want to go out and actually do shit with your life. Oh, really? Wait, Shani? what? Like me and Jason, we're really Y'all are doing stuff with your life? Oh, like, my God. Yeah, you're literally sitting in a one-room motel, crackhead motel, begging for money for food. But this is what she was doing a couple of years before that. Tell me that's not it's karma. It's not the best of lifestyles. You eventually get bored of the internet and want to go out and actually do shit with your life. Like me and Jason, we're getting jobs, not because we have to, but because we kind of want to. They want Boy, to, guys. I'm tired well. of just... Eh. Like, can you believe eh. she said this shit? Not doing anything. I didn't age well, did it? We have a purpose in life, and we're going to serve not it. Not at all. She has a purpose in life, guys. Which is... To grow delicious, beautiful weed. They're gonna grow weed. I think I'm good with that. Growing marijuana. Oh, hello, handsome. Yikes. Oh, God. Jesus. oh my God. Yikes. I love you. Ooh. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Ew. All right. So. Yeah. To to say that the rich piggy off the working class is so fucking stupid. I, especially when it's the rich that is providing the fucking jobs and you're the one who's the indentured servant to them. Hmm. Okay, Shani. Whatever you oh, say. Well. You guys can go be liberal morons and whine and cry that you have to work. Mm. Suck it up, Buttercups. We all have to work. Mm. We all have to work. It's we, life. We all have to work, For guys. For you, you have to have a job. You when? need to make that sound bite like yes. one of your uh, stings. Yes, know? yes, I agree. I agree. Cause when Suck I saw it that up, Buttercup. We all have to work. Wah, wah. When I saw that this morning, I about lost my shit. Like, I could not believe she was saying that shit. Like, wow. Wow. So, back to her parents talking about how she can't keep a job for more than a couple of weeks at a time. We'll be there for a couple of weeks and something will happen and she's not going back again. And it's happened over and over. And I think that kind it's of... It's kind of sad. And it, it, it's, I, I imagine it has to be really hard on your, you know, esteem. It's got to hurt. When you're not wanted back at your job for some reason or other, and some of I it is really why. unfair in this world because your looks count for a lot, and that's unfortunate. But the thing is, is they see her in some of this outfits that she's wearing, or like <laughs> you know, the veil or garish makeup and things like that. Oh, on the videos, yeah. Social services and, up here was watching her when when um and her you kids get, were taken you away. You get on judged YouTube. for that alone mm -hmm. itself. So if you look kind of crazy, people are going to think you are, you Imagine know, but that. the thing is, is she's done some pretty nutty things to us. Well, what I was going to finish saying. Is oh, black belt, baby. You said when she and Rev had that epic fight, she said she invested in Dogecoin on Mother's Day 2021 in parentheses with G-Man's money for bill or yeah, money for bills. On an internet tip, Elon Musk pumped it, and the value is down 92% since. Wow. Thank you for the super chat, Black Belt Baby. I did I did hear her say that, and didn't we invest some money in 
in uh, Dogecoin? Not a lot or anything, but... No, you, you luckily you talked me out of it. Yeah. Well, but was, around that time when Elon Musk was on deal. Saturday Night Live, um, yeah. <laughs> I, really, I was really thinking that I wanted to. And uh, <laughs> well, you said it's not worth it, and I didn't. And now it's down to a lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Well, isn't it, too, that... That uh, Saturday Night Live epic that that being on there didn't that kind of like start the beginning of the end for it kind of because he well, said that, something about it on there and right it, that and weekend was like it. it's high even to this day that was the highest it has ever been um, and it's been going down pretty much since yeah then. yeah but just another one of um, Shani's great ideas that she had with money. You know, right. is, um, she makes with the, the good, mental health thing. Ones. What happened with her is they had her. Um, they, she was diagnosed wrong. She was not diagnosed with the with a borderline Hypoetic personality justice. disorder How originally. They diagnosed her as being uh, bipolar, and a lot of times they can be bipolar along with the borderline personality order disorder. But the uh, SSRIs, the antidepressants that they put them on, can actually make borderline worse. And in her case, that's exactly what, almost exactly what happened. Yeah. She was on a pretty hefty dose of Prozac at that time. It was like 40 milligrams or something like that, oh. I think. Don't quote well, me on it, but it, she was on a pretty hefty dose of it, went cold turkey off of it, decided she had it. They, they see things in their mind um, with the borderline personality disorder. So she had it in her mind that Chris was cheating on her. This is before they got married. This is before they got married. She was living with him at the time with her boys and she cut her wrists and Chris's mother came over and called the police and child protective services. And that's when they had taken the boys. Now, they were living in our house. But the thing is, is I wasn't home and neither was she. I was at work and she was out. At no, the I was. No, I wasn't. What? I was down in North Carolina. I was with mm -hmm. um, with. Uh, Shannon's brother because he was trying to get through college at the time oh, that's and I was right. help, that's helping sure. him pay yes. for his apartment and that kind of thing. This is basically right after we got married, but before you moved up. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, the love, 40 milligrams of Prozac is not a high dose. In fact, it's the average. Um, Cause I, I have taken Prozac in the past and I was on 20 milligrams and they upped me to 40. And that's that once they did that, that was like kind of where, the baseline, I guess, is supposed to be or whatever. So, yeah, it, that's not a high dose of it. No. So before, yeah, before I moved back up up here, because right. he, he moved up here because uh, we used to live down in um, North Carolina, mm -hmm. but Pope Air Force Base closed down. My, Dude, husband is a, my husband's a veteran, by the way, um, and he still works uh, for the government. And they closed Pope Air Force Base down, and he ended up getting a job up here. At the Transferred up here at the 148th Fighter Wing, and um, he'd been up here for over ten years. Ten now. years now, yeah, for quite a while. But anyway, <laughs> I keep jumping around. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get my thoughts together. We kind of did this impromptu. I actually Ratty, wasn't going to do. I wanted to do a live stream Saturday. Nobody took interest right, in Hubris. it. So I her evil mom helping her brother get through college. Yeah. It's isn't that kind of crazy how all the siblings like th they don't have an issue with the parents, just Shani. And the and the issues being so bad that when these two people got sick and were literally dying, they didn't want her around. Like, I mean, that speaks volumes. Mm. I kind of said, oh, well, the heck with it. I'll just, you know, maybe this, I should just. This maybe, is, this she is hasn't talked about me in the last week or so. So um, I'm fine. <laughs> Boom. Today she had the um, the video on. I just about found, brought, bringing me up on it when she doesn't even know we're my new channel or anything like that. This is that impromptu. I <laughs> it really this is. This is impromptu. But I want him to hear her, what she says. And he was here that day. He was here through the whole thing. When she came to me, um, she had just gotten out of jail. And I think she was at behavioral health. She's been in behavioral health many, many times. He can tell you. Yeah. <laughs> because he's the one who called the police for help when she used to get really wacky doodles and 
go crazy and yelling and screaming and drinking really heavily and uh, partying with her friends and then fighting with her friends. Who was that girl she got in that fight with and the cops were over? Oh, I don't know. I mean, how many fights has she been in? <laughs> It's been a lifetime of this. I shouldn't laugh. I'm just, it's just it's, right it's, now, it's my it's, way of it's, kind of coping. We're, to trying, get we're through trying to this. get through this. Yeah. I don't want to sit here and start blubbering and crying. And so I'm kind of stuffing my emotions in a different direction. That's all I know how Believe to do me, right now. Just to it'd be, be just, to... it'd be a lot easier to cry about this whole situation. Mm. But um, I can see you, Leslie. I see you. Yeah. Um, so anyway, she had been in behavioral health. She went to jail and um, she came here. It was really strange. Just a little reminder, um, you guys, if you're not seeing some of your comments, make sure that you have your chat set to live chat and not top chat. Right at the top of the um, chat box on the right hand side, make sure you press that little button and switch it from top chat to live chat so that you don't miss out on anything. I mean, I heard mama, mama, mama. And that's like the kind of voice she had when she was a little girl. Well, what does a mother do? The first thing a mother does is it's my child. It's just automatic with a mother, you know? And I'm like, Shannon, what's, what's going on? I, I opened the door. Her, she was barefoot. She smelled really bad. She just got out of jail. I guess they didn't allow her to bathe or something. I don't know. Oh God. Her feet were black. And uh, she was she barefoot, said, walking she was, around the city. She said, Chris left me. I just got out of jail. I don't know where my boys are. So I said, okay, wow. come in the house. Uh, one of her this is, um, co-workers. This is Shani's parents. That's who we're listening to. It's her parents giving basically their side of the story. Yeah, and if you think that, if any of you ever think that you're blocked, just contact me or contact one of the mods and we'll get it figured out. Sometimes things happen on accident. Um, and it's uh, super easy for me to figure it out if you are or, or, or not. And if you are unjustly blocked, I can fix that real quick. Like, so don't freak out. Just contact me and we'll figure it out. Workers from when she was driving a taxi cab during that time when, when Chris cut his job back because he was going to go to school. So he was working, I guess, 20 hours a week at that time. She when was, she told Chris that I hate fucking hate you. And this is after he supported her and her children on a just slightly over minimum wage job for oh, seven years. Yeah. You know, since Damn, they, they had were together married, seven years. He actually married her to help her get her kids Holy back. Holy crap. To make I didn't realize they were together that long. Wow. They were together for seven years. That's wild. Kimberly says, hi, Carrie and chat. Hope everyone is having an amazing weekend. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. I hope you are having an amazing weekend, too. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Shani for Life, seven years. That's crazy that they were together for that long. I did not realize that. Like a united front to make it seem like she and was. And for five of them, she was trying to get with Jason. I have heard that. Nuts. She tries to deny. They deny that nowadays. but. It's pretty clear they were talking and having feelings for each other back in those days, way before she split up from Chris. So stable and, and he was, was going to that she, was that, she admits to at the very least having phone sex with him. So at the suggestion of Aaron's husband, who's a lawyer, and and they they thought it was a good idea, so they got married. They got married Christmas. Or it, not, wasn't. it wasn't Christmas. It wasn't Christmas. It was actually uh, just a couple of days before Halloween. You guys are so sweet in the chat. I'm reading some of the stuff you guys are saying to each other. And I just want to thank you guys for being so nice and kind to one another. That really, that warms my heart. It makes me feel really good that there's a place like this that where there's so many people that are so positive and kind to one another. So just keep doing that because I love that. Love you guys. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered even if they did get married. She still had that relationship yeah. with him. I mean, yeah. marriage was just really a piece of paper. It just, yeah, it just looks official. That's all. Yeah, we all had to get together as a family, even my kids that live down in North Carolina, and we had to have conference calls. It was every week or something yeah. like that. I feel Excuse you, Tiggy Bear. And um, Miss, I abused her her whole life, was designated as one of the people that would intervene um 
when Shannon was having her problems. So this would never happen again. That's how it was said to me. So this never happens again. So was Chris's mother. She was also appointed like a guardian yes. over, over what was going on. I don't remember what they called it at the time. You'll have to forgive me. But um, so anyway, uh, she had the kids taken away. Her mother-in-law called. What makes her think it wasn't her mother-in-law that called when she was in Pennsylvania and they decided to move out to Colorado? Or is that an excuse? Because Colorado is where they have free marijuana, or free marijuana, uh, illegal yeah. ma marijuana. They have it you know? legal. And, um, she, did, she loves marijuana. I mean, she definitely does. Um, one of the problems with borderline personality disorder is, is that they often um, have addiction and uh, drug abuse and impulsive oh, kinds of you, um, behavior. And she has that. She clearly has that. Aww. And actually, a girl has no name. I feel you. I am. I feel the same way. You said, that's why I love this chat. I don't have a lot of friends in real life because of my anxiety. So this is actually good for me. Thank you all. I could not agree more. I am the same way. I'm a homebody. I don't get out a whole lot, but hanging out with you guys has been so much fun and I'm very, very thankful and blessed that I get to do it because you guys are awesome. You're so kind. When I was going to originally come on, I was <laughs> probably I was gonna free weed. Yeah. I wish. I, I think one of the, <laughs> I think Doc Savage can probably vouch for this because I sent him an email about it. He's actually been very helpful to me. Um, believe it or not. But, um, <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. <laughs> Let's show me show me the video. Okay, I'm going to show him the video. But um, oh, I had told Doc Savage that I was going to make this video, but I wanted to let y'all know from yeah, the, Chris is um Shani's ex husband actually. The um great debate community to stop trolling her there's some people not i'm not saying all of you troll Aww. but there are some people that troll her brianna that is awesome these struggles help me a lot when i am struggling with my depression thank you wow dude that is amazing i am so glad like, i can't even put into words how glad that makes me i'm glad that you're here oh and hi pam cakes welcome yeah it is it is sad knowing that they both passed away Mm -mm -mm. stress had to contribute to their early deaths. I think that's why they didn't, you know, her family did not want her around during that time because you do, you know, during that time in your life when someone is that ill, the last thing that they need is chaos and stress and whatever. So I think her siblings probably did the best thing that they could for her, for their parents by keeping her away. You know, unfortunately, that's the choice that they had to make. And you talk about her all the time openly on the internet and, you know, post pictures of her as a whale and all that stuff. I mean, we all get frustrated with Shannon. We all do, believe me. But um, it's not any, it's, it's not working. It doesn't change her attitude. It doesn't change her mental illness. Um, I know people are sincerely worried about her kids. Um I don't know what to do about that. Apparently, we don't have, someone any, we don't have any say in it. I don't know what, like, getting back to Chris's mother, why does she think that maybe Chris's mother didn't see the video and maybe she called social services? I don't know. I don't have the answers for all that, but it certainly wasn't me and Joe. We don't know where she lives. She let it slip out that she was in Colorado when she was hot. If one she's day. there. If she's, she is. She talks about the altitude. And um, Estes Park, going up to Estes Park, which is fine. You know, have a good life. Whatever. Enjoy it. It's yeah, enjoy there. your life. I know she loves it there. We've lived there before. We've lived in Colorado before. Colorado is beautiful. Sorry. It's one of my favorite places. But it's very expensive. But I'm not going to live. out there. <laughs> yeah, that was a long time ago. It's really expensive to live out there. Mm. It's like. California prices now. It's not the way it used to be back when he was in the Air Force and we were out there having a really good time before they built up and everything um, years ago when we were first married. Well, let's Did you know that's where I was created, Michael? Um, I think so. Yes, in Denver. My parents, that's where my mom and dad got pregnant with me. 
Melissa White. They were back. They were in Charleston before I was born, but that's where I was created. <laughs> Actually, no beard at all. Military. <laughs> Maybe the altitude helps. Or something like oh, you're that. still handsome. <laughs> yes, you are. What am I talking about? I don't even want to think. But about anyway, that. I'm just an old man. <laughs> Oh, please. <laughs> That's very sad. I don't have a kid that I should have in my life because she doesn't really want to be part of our life anymore. She does, though. This is why she makes the videos that she does. So let's mm -hmm. go ahead and let him watch the video. You can watch Maybe his I'll response. Maybe I'll change my mind. Uh, you can watch our responses to it. Okay, so this is it. It calls. Will it, will it still be report? Will it still be recording our faces as well? Yeah, watching? we're recording. We're live on right. here, so we just can't see ourselves recording. So okay, so if I cry, I'm not going. Yeah. Oh. Oh, don't cry. Yeah, and don't fart. I won't do that either. <laughs> so then you'd cry. Then I would. I'd leave. I'd run. <laughs> okay, the video is called "Proof She Lies." And here this we go. Proof she lies. Nice, yes. Nice line. Out of the blue. And I haven't bothered. Oh, there she is. There she is. All right. Um, Uh-oh. We're, re we're I reviewing a review of a review. I have this proof now that you lied and exaggerated things and blew things out of proportions because you want, you always do this. When you do something bad, you have to cover it up and you have to gaslight people and you have to treat people like shit and lie about people. You lied about Patrick. You lied about your ex-husband. Mm -mm. And you probably lied about Brett too. Being an alcoholic? You probably lied about your sister. What? I know you definitely lied about Darlene because they found out that you're not who you say you are. Oh, she's you're picking all the mouth. right people like then. Me. To think but she's that are great. I know what kind of human being you are, but she's aligned on the other what side. Kind of human being you are. You could admit she's that you painting were a picture wrong right and now. handled yourself um, very wrong with me. You could actually, for once in your life, say sorry and repent for something bad that you've done in your life. I only you pray know, for you every single I night. I show you good favor. I mean, I believe in God. Well, you don't want to do that. I'm not like super Christian, but. And treat me like crap. And you know what? Anyone who has a bad parent, anyone who has a parent that does not love them. Why is it always me? Parent, yeah, I don't understand that. Why is it me? And. You know, Mary's trying to convince everyone around. I mean, it shouldn't be you either, Jesus but why? Why does she pick me? He's mad. He's crazy. Jesus said this. Okay, what did Jesus say, my mother, Shannon? My brothers and my sister. Everyone quiet, not knowing what to say. He says, those who do the will of my father... Those are the ones I will call my brothers, my sister, and my mother. Well, I'm not a perfect Christian, but I I don't know what you're talking about. And we, we do happen to know the Ten Commandments. Well, the Bible also <laughs> That's how says, it goes here. If they don't love so you, honor thy father and thy mother. And they don't have the love of the mother that. Them, so I can only oh, She doesn't know anything her. about that. You've been so mm -hmm. hateful to me. And so unloving. Hey, and if Paul. you don't believe you've been unloving, she gave you me, life. You don't. You've never shown me anything. anything okay, I'm going to stop right here. I've never her. showed her anything. I've been abusive to her her whole life. You want to extrapolate on that? No, you have never been abusive to her. I can't understand where she would be coming from. That she was like the one kid that. I spent a lot of time with oh, yeah. you, out of four, were, all four I mean, of our kids. When, I spent a great deal of time with Shannon because she was always getting in trouble at school. I had to take off work to go to school and get her out of school at times. Many times. And then we're talking about a lot of her. Um, I mean, she was a really great child. I mean, she, also used, she used to get in the fights all the time at Black Mountain. Yeah, when she was the Black Mountain. That's when she was a teenager. That's when things um, farmer in the cell super chat says very disrespectful child. Yes, I would say so. That's putting it mildly, you know. And again, I'm not saying that her parents were um, 
perfect or didn't make mistakes because I'm sure that they did. All of us are, are going to make mistakes. No one's um, perfect. Right. I just don't think they deserve some. And I don't believe all the things that she's tried to say that, that they did. I just, you know, I don't believe that. But I do think they probably, um, you know, did some things that contributed to her and her behavior. So I will say that. But like I, you know, we all do. No, nobody's parents are perfect. So it's not. Um, it's not an excuse for all the things that she does and continues to do. She she uses it as a as a way to justify her bad behavior, just like she uses religion or mental illness. She she uses her parents the same way. So, but thank you so much for the super chat, farmer in the cell. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's really that's when that's south. when she started going to hell. Yeah, that's I mean, she got she made a belly button uh no okay, i think what I happened was is that uh, well it was one of the uh, i think she started getting worse at that time is what it was because when she was younger like little signs that i missed like when the teacher pinched her under chin and the teacher punched her in the nose and we found out teacher didn't punch her in the nose she ran into his arm because he was telling all the he had his arms up telling all the kids to stop and she ran into his arm and she, her nose was bleeding. Yeah, but we, and we I, still of took, course, well, the first thing we that took the I, teacher's side, or we took her side on that. We did. I mean, you're moving this around. Hi, four so more miles. How are you doing? Live stream. Hold on. Oh, we're still on the screen. Okay. Okay. But um, you know, I, things like this had occurred, and, and every time I would go to school and say, and "What's we, going on here?" You know, I put, we'd I, always go to bat for mom, her. My mom combat. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me double check on that. Thank you, Shani, for life. Let me check that out real quick. Boots on. Never had to do this with um, my other kids, but Shannon, there was always something going on throughout her whole life. At always school. to bat for her too, and it wasn't against her ever. So I, I think we both really missed the signs of her mental illness, um, but it was gradual. It, it just got worse and worse and, and worse over the years. And it really, it really got worse when she was a teenager. Yeah. I mean, she got an infection because she put a she made, she pierced her belly button and she got an infection in it, actually. She pierced it with a cheap earring, like Walmart earring or something like that. And well, that was just, that was. That's, yeah, that maybe, I mean, some people could say that's kids stuff, but the thing is, is. Um, I didn't, I don't see anybody blocked that um, wasn't blocked before. So she may have just. Um, accidentally hit something and, and deleted a comment. I'm assuming is how that happened. Um, are you are you in there, Ann Kennedy? Do you know that you if you might have accidentally pressed something? Just want to make sure I, I can't see it from where I'm at. Um, I do see that nobody got blocked, but somebody might have gotten uh, their comment blocked. So just let me know if that's the case. I apologize, and thank you for letting me know, Shani for life. She deleted two comments. Okay. So she didn't block someone. She deleted comments. Anne, are you in here? I haven't seen her commenting or anything. So I'm thinking she did do that accidentally. But let's see. Oh, there you go. There she is. You were coming on. A co okay, got you. So it, it she didn't do it on purpose. Okay. That's what I figured. Just double checking, though. All right. Thank you for letting me know, though. Good looking out. It's also self-harm. Yeah. She didn't cut herself back then, though. She well, wasn't as depressed. It was just kind of doing things to get negative attention. And then she, and then she that, hung around with the goth and then, kids. And that guy okay, that yeah. had the, the I work. have your soul in my bag. Yeah. She like, liked what to hung, hang around with kids that, um, that, that were sorry, into bug magic. Love. Magic and Satanism mm. and all this other stuff. Black she, arts. She found that kind of um, intriguing. And that's that's the God's honest truth. I mean, we weren't the greatest Christian parents. We, we didn't we didn't go to church constantly. But the thing is, is we, we didn't, didn't believe in the church. We didn't believe in organized religion. We believed in we believe in I God. Believe we believe in God. I see you. Girl has no name. You shouldn't be blocked. I see you. Jesus. I definitely believe there's a God. I definitely believe in Jesus. I believe. And he died and, for our sins. Mm -hmm. We believe that. And um, 
we still read the Bible. I mean, we pick it up and, and we read it. I'm not an expert on the Bible, neither is he, but we try to, you know, keep ourselves updated with things as time goes along. We're just not the greatest. I can't consider myself a holier than we thou. We can't quote it as much as she does. But the thing is, is there's a, I think there's a difference between knowing what the Bible means and how it reacts <laughs> to being to able to memorize <laughs> words, quote, like that. But we know enough when you're you're a bullshit I th Christian. I think I think you could I think you could take words from that Bible and twist it, and that's Anybody, been done so many times. It's true. Anybody can twist the words of the Bible. I have to say, I completely agree with everything they're saying right here. And yeah, a lot of because I think she definitely in twists. Case, that's exactly what she Bible. does. It's like like G Man. Um, oh, G Man. G-Man will go ahead and uh, get down on Miss Star uh, for cussing or something like that or whatever it is, you know. I don't know if she smokes or not. Thank I don't you know for what being else understanding, Bug Love. But, um, yeah, he can allow the behavior that Shannon does for some reason. But when somebody gives you a, a house, you know, to live in and whatnot, yeah, the Christianity kind of goes... Phew. Yeah. But anyway, that's another story. So let's get on with this. Here's her proof. I want him to see Thank her you proof for that I lied. It's a false love. You know, you never accepted me for who I was as a person. Okay, let me see if I can find. I'm going to try to scroll for Let me watch this. I don't want to scroll for it. I want to see the whole thing. Okay. I'm not going to miss a word. This is going to be a long hangout. I saw that little comment you made about me, about my ex-husbands when you weren't even there when i was married to any of the husbands because you kept going fucking crazy and abandoning me okay and that's not true <laughs> <laughs> i didn't abandon shannon and if you look up by uh borderline personality disorder they have like this obsession with abandonment and and whatnot it's like one of the biggest things that they they feel like they're abandoned all the time. It's just that's her mental illness talking right there. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to find. You still there, babe? Yeah. I'm making sure you didn't fall asleep on me. Where she holds her <laughs> proof up. She's trying not to comment and interrupt. And it. I can't find it. Oh, don't worry. You can comment. Weird. She does look miserable, though. She looks disheveled all the time, oh. Joe. It's really sad. Oh, I mean, she her hair is like always. I mean, she, she's. I mean, the other why day she, she take better care of herself. You should have seen her with the green leaves around her head. Oh, and that part about wanting to see her mother dead, her yeah, rotting corpse dead. Ma, no, she her wanted head. to. She wanted. She wanted to see my dead rotting corpse head Jesus. on a platter, and I think. Something about putting something around Surrounded it, by leaves, dancing around it, or dancing around it. Something like that. Don't wow. quote me. Wow. I knew that she said <laughs> some messed up stuff. I didn't. I've heard her talk about um, wanting her parents to die from COVID, but I had not heard word for all word. Of but that. anyway, that's not the first time she's wished me dead. She's obsessed with saying that I'm going to die. That um, she said that I, just before she left. He God's was, gonna kill he, he you. He was right here. I was right. I was right next to her. He had just had his knees replaced, so he was in the recliner a lot during that time while his knee was healing and whatnot. And um, he heard the whole thing. He heard the whole thing um, as it went down. But she. I, um, that was just before I told her she couldn't stay there anymore. I told her she couldn't stay here anymore. He'd had enough. His. I ended up going to the hospital that day because my blood pressure was through the roof. We actually had the paramedics come. The paramedics because I have a lot of heart problems. Her. I have um, now. I have a defibrillator, pacemaker, and um, so I was told. And just to give you guys a little um, peek at uh, some of the stuff, the kind of stuff that Shani says about her family, her parents. Hold on one second. Let me show you this. Not going to play the whole thing, just the ending. Um, because it's, it uh, shows exactly how how she is and how she talks about her parents and things. So 
Let's go to the end. Get us nowhere way too fast. I stay here locked inside my head. Remembering you everything the fuck you out. said. Yeah, you know. The silence gets us nowhere. Gets us nowhere way too fast. Dedicate this to my fucked up parents who fucked me up in the head. Fuck you. Hope you die of COVID, motherfuckers. Yeah, let's do that one more time. One more time. Yeah, he eggs her on. You hear him in the background? Dedicate this to my fucked up parents who fucked me up in the head. Fuck you. Hope you die of COVID, motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm gonna take some personal responsibility, you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that really impressed Rev. He was he was proud of that. Idiot. Called after my heart surgery. I have a, a congenital heart disease. No, they didn't the, didn't the dad die first? Yeah, the dad died first, but neither one of them did and they didn't die from COVID. But they um I think they both the dad died from cancer. And um I'm not sure. I think the mom it was something to do with her heart. Um, but I don't know the Ex- the exact things but she had been fairly i think she had been fairly ill for quite a while i think the dad i don't think sh- uh shani expected that he was going to pass when he did but i think she kind of saw that her what was going on with her mom coming from a ways away where the dad was kind of more of a surprise to her yeah that they didn't catch until I was 56. And oftentimes they don't catch hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy until later on in life because it gets Or worse. they die. Yes, yeah, sudden death is one of the, it's actually the number one reason why football players die on the field, believe it or not. But Undying we have a, people that have this, have a really thick heart and um, actually almost died in the hospital after my first surgery. And, and it's congenital and all chil- all her children should get checked for it. If you haven't been checked, Shannon, you she, should. I, I told her, her that. about that when she was here. She'll I tried be, to explain. Uh, I'm sure she's already claimed that illness, whatever it is. Everything to her, that all the f- family, even my sister and her kids, her, her son is a football player for um, a uni- Stetson University. And he's a great football player, by the way. He's awesome. But um, she had him checked. She had her other son checked. They're doing good this year. Checked. Um, you know, the, the family pulled together and everybody got checked except for Shannon. And she said, no, no, if I die, I'm just going to go to heaven because that's where I'm going to be happiest. And that's wow. so sad. That is really, really what if, if that happens, sad. Especially what about when, her kids? That's what I was just going to say. She don't care it's about really them. sad when you're. A mom and I mean, kids. What, what about Zachary? But the last thing that she said to me is Prime Mover. My guess, the reason they've both been silent for the last 72 hours, they got some money, they got some food, and they probably got some drugs. So they're they're fine. They're 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 enjoying themselves. And given another day or two, they'll be back crying and everything else and, and begging for money again. Watch Mark that my God word. Was going that will to happen. kill me for what I was doing to her. You know, she gets so dramatic when she says it. So I'm I'm kind of parroting her. And I feel bad when I do that, but I do it. So I feel bad. I, everything I do, she makes me feel bad. Oh, Booker, what does she mean when she says crinkle heart? Hold on a second. I'll show you exactly <laughs> what she means. Everything I do, I mean, I, everything that I say, every you know, it, it doesn't matter. Anything she likes? It's 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 terrible. I'm trying to find uh, where she holds up the Facebook page where it says, "I got the job on October 20th." Why don't you tell that that's 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 the only other part? She just goes on about how abusive I am, blah blah blah. Why don't you tell everybody how many months she laid up in the bedroom day after day drinking alcohol? Well, I'll let you tell them. Which time? This last time that she stayed with, she has stayed with every one of her family members, her father several times, me several times. We had been separated for 10 years. I had remarried, and then we remarried again later on. I ended up marrying 
a man who was an alcoholic because I didn't have a lot of self-esteem. And um, one of the reasons that we broke up is because of some of the stuff that we, well, I don't even want to say it's it. None of the, it's not, it does not, doesn't even relate to it. No, I'm saying. What happened, in, what happened with Pat after, after, you know, she left there has nothing to do with you. She came to live with um, my ex-husband and I down in Florida. And, um, and did she, did, I think, I think he, she says that he hit on her. And I wouldn't doubt that. Yeah, he did. He was drunk. Yeah, he, I, th I think he's he an was, he, personally he's an asshole. He was. She's absolutely. You and know, Shannon's absolutely him. right about Pat being an asshole. She's absolutely right about uh, that other guy in uh, in Houston being an asshole. We he beat. The okay, here, hold on one second, guys. So I can show you this. There's a part in here that's going to. Uh, show her talk about her crinkle heart here we go on the boat watch you, this you steer the boat Steers, yeah i'm you're, the leader you're, you're good at it you're good at steering the boat i'm the fucking leader one pathetic soap story later but i also have these marks on my boobs that don't heal ever and i also need to get tested for that i need to get a fucking mammogram for my fucking breast because I probably have fucking cancer too on top of every fucking other thing. I'm losing my mortality alone. And my heart, it feels like a fucking pan crinkling. That's how my heart feels when it pumps blood. It feels like a heart crinkling. That's, and my that's heart, the crinkle part right here. Like a fucking pan crinkling. That's how my heart feels when it pumps blood. It feels like a heart crinkling, crinkling, and I, I can't cell. work. I, I have to get an MRI for my fucking brain because I'm pretty sure it's, it's fucking like Swiss, Swiss cheese, cheese in there. Because the goddamn MS that I need to get fucking all the fucking tests for. She has for MS, testing for cancer, breast cancer, crinkle heart, MS, and heart disease. I know you can't do it, but this is something I am. I I have to take the test, Jason. And I know what they're gonna leave that I know what it's gonna say too. I already know what it's gonna say. It's gonna say I have all of that. All of it. She's gonna have all of it. That be heck of a I can't walk! Situation. You know, it used to be I was able to walk a little to be able to go from one area to another. Now I can't even do that! What the fuck am I gonna do? <laughs> Here we go. I gotta go down. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. 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 I can't breathe. I'm gonna have a heart attack. She's like forcing her. This is so stupid. And that is fake as shit. Anyway, that's that's where the crinkle heart comment came from, right? <laughs> right there. <sighs> the hell out of her. We were able to reconcile. We were able to reconcile. Very oh, and by the way, when she did that little bit that uh, that we just watched, when she was hacking and all that, just so happened that that was the same time in the same video where she was begging for money. So, take that how you will. Dangerous man. We were able to reconcile our marriage, to be honest with you, after Shannon was gone on her own because um, 
we love each other. We do. We truly do. And we and actually, we always did love each and other. And we actually stayed best friends while we were divorced during that time period. I mean, I could always pick up the phone or he could always pick it. We, both of us, we could always just pick up the phone and talk to one another because we had kids together. Was thing in that common. was the most important thing to both of us is the kids. And you would the, think she you know would something? be happy. I mean, they weren't little. You know what I mean? That, that her parents got back together. You would think that would have been like something that she was real happy about. But Kids, when this happened, they were all um, uh, young adults. The kids, the other kids were very happy that we had a good relationship. Yeah. You yeah, know? it was really important um, because to it, both it was of us. less traumatic to Michael or, and Joey and Aaron that But way. you you've got to figure that and, and um hopefully how to some is, extent it might hopefully it could have helped Shannon too. It did contribute know. to us breaking up. It really did. It just seemed like it was hopeless. It was just nothing but constant turmoil in our house all the time. And um neither of us could take it anymore and we had to change things up. Now, I will and say playing devil's advocate i don't believe that they should be blaming shanny for their relationship splitting up i'm sure that it had to do with it because it's you know one person probably thought well this is this is one way that we should be disciplining the other one maybe was a little bit uh you know more more giving or or um didn't push that kind of thing as hard so they maybe that that they argued over stuff like that but just playing devil's advocate i don't think they should blame that on her. You know what I mean? And um, I admit it. I went, you know, I, I found the wrong guy. Um, if my husband passed away before me, I would never find another guy again. Yeah, I'm painless with you. I agree. She probably did play them against each other. Yeah, that that wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, oh. I'm perfectly, I, I am now secure with myself you know i just i don't need a man to take care of me but i have my best friend and you know she will spin the story completely different you know about it yes you are <laughs> you know i know it. i i know i am we're and each other's best friend yeah anyway she posted in this video that um on October 20th that she got the job, which is proof that she got a job. Now, please tell everybody how long she laid in bed this time. Let's see. She got here in what, July? Okay, Petty Patty. So that is kind of what went down then. The dad was kind of probably sick of it and done with it. And the mom was kind of more lax about it. And yeah, I could see that happening for sure. June or July? June or I think it was late June. Actually, I had just had my abdominal. I had abdominal yeah. surgery on Bless top her of and heart. surgery and the anemia too. Somewhere in there, she was doing a little bit of taxi work. And not when she was with us. Hi, Tree Blood. No, she couldn't get that Hi, job. Yeah. She couldn't get the job back. They didn't want to hire her back. And um, the whole she, she worked for some kind of as a nurse's aide or something like that, or, or yeah, she for had a mental health thing. Her ex extensive medical background oh. she had a two-week training well she tells people this stuff joe oh, and yeah. then it makes me look like right. an idiot I when mean, she it's she was just taking care of some people is it just an adult babysitter basically type of deal and uh oh she's also not a kickboxer yes <laughs> she had, i saw what that. she said she was she was a kickboxer. she never ever learned she that. wasn't a military brat she wasn't a military brat. Her no, father. Um, I was out of the military when she was born. Yeah. Wow. And, um, there was one job that he had at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. But that's a civil service. And job. she went to live with Panama him. Now tell him how that turned out. Oh, that turned out real good. I found her in bed with a 15 year old and she was an 18 year old. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I had to chase babe? a naked 15 year old boy out of my house. What? Hold on. Let's go 15 back. 15 had at Tyndall Air Force Base in Florida. But that's a civil service And job. she went to live with him. Now tell him how that turned out. Oh, that turned out real good. I found her in bed with a 15-year-old and she was an 18-year-old. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I had to chase a naked 15-year-old boy out of my house. Yikes. After they were caught Especially together. trained this singer. A lot of history yeah. on oh, there's, there's stuff on this. And it's... Seen her. Oh, I want to show you something. I want it's you to... Just, Look at this. Most, Look at this. Bad Someone like came that. on with a sock account and it says St. Louis County Social Services. We live in St. Louis County in um, 
Minnesota, Northern Minnesota and says CPS should be seeing this in all your videos for the sake and safety of your children. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. All our, all my children are adults. No, her children, her children. Yeah. She's they're not, they're not in the, let's she's clear not. something up because thick shades, uh, mirrored my video where I talked about the boys when they were peeing on the floor. Right. Uh -oh. When and you hiding went and when, hiding toilet paper behind the toilet. Oh, Mary. I haven't even gotten to that. I didn't even tell them about oh. that. I didn't want to bring all that stuff up. Joe, right. It's ugly, but you know, this, she wants to keep this up. She, I'm going to, I'm going to let them know what really went on here. Yeah. Um, Okay, so let me get it straightened out so we could do it. Sure. She, how long did she have that job at the nurse? It wasn't a nursing home. It was like a group home. It was home, a group home. It was a home. And they were disabled and, people. Yeah, probably two weeks. Two Just weeks. like I had said over I, and I, over again. I brought her up there a couple of times. Picked her. So she talks about having that job, whatever, and she literally worked it for two weeks. Two weeks. That's picked it. Her up and things like that. And she other times I let her use my truck. Yeah, she used his truck every day while she was here. We bought her clothes. We bought the boys' clothes while she was here. She was not abused or mistreated whatsoever. Bought her makeup, got her hair done. Uh, there was a video that she had. Let her dye, let her, dye her hair. Had her dye her hair. Several she, times several while she was here. That's yeah. when it started getting really crazy. But um, We bought the dye. I bought it. I know I did. Yeah, it started getting crazy after that, though. That was during the time when things started really going downhill for some reason when she started dying her hair. And the thing is, is she didn't want to help out with how, any kind of household responsibility. No household responsibility. I think she emptied the dishwasher <laughs> once. And she, she doesn't clean up after her boys. She left the house constantly and me alone with the boys without asking me whatsoever. She did the same thing to wow. her brother, by the way. When she he, did wow. the first time around. Yeah. Well, tell him what was she used to do. He was in college at the time. He was in college. He had to take off college courses and it helped, it helped contribute to him having to drop out of school. And he, he also, back in and he also wanted to leave the house because of her too. And that's the God's. No, she street. used to go and party all the time. Back then she was with women. She, she had, she's a, uh, She's bisexual and that's fine. But um, she drove the women that she was with crazy too with her antics that one was of going them, on. One of them put a. Um, she drove women crazy restraining, too. Eh? Restraining order. Mm -hmm. On Shannon. Oh, wow. I don't remember her name, but she had dark hair and she was kind so of. So that's actually. kind of an oriental. That's actually girl. two people that had a restraining order on her. We've never filed a restraining order on Shannon. We've not called social services on her. Um, Joe and I, we tried to deal with things as we could because we do have grandchildren. We tried to give them whatever we could. They stayed in the master bedroom. Um, Joe slept on a small bed that in the in the extra room that we have. Um, she the, slept the third, on the couch. I slept on the couch. Michael. Michael. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Let me let this play. But I think he's asleep time. for <laughs> months. We're talking. Months. We're talking from June to Christmas time. And that whole time—that's that half a year. The whole time that she wasn't working, what was she doing? Smoking pot, getting high, drunk, and making videos like this crazy with Jason. Everything boo hoo hooing. Jason doesn't want me. He said he said mean things to me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of those. She'd sit in the backyard and she cry said and boo hoo. She 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 get drunk publicly. <laughs> she I mean, she's that. in the backyard smoking and. Babe, they heard you that time. You're busted. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm tired. Do you want to stop? We can stop. I can no, do. No, we can do no, a part no. two. Are no, you I'm sure? Like, yeah, I'm. I'm good. Okay. I'm drinking pot. <laughs> I don't know for sure what really went down, but she said that her um Chris oh, raped Lord. her. He Wait, denies what? it, and to be honest with you, I'm not Wait, so what? sure. Of those, she says she'd sit in the backyard and she cry said and boo That she, she, she doesn't want me. He said he said mean things to me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of those. She'd sit in the backyard and she cry and boo That she she she, 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 she get drunk publicly. I she mean, she's in that. the backyard smoking and drinking pot. 
I don't know for sure what really went down, but she said that her, um, Chris raped her. He denies it. And to be honest with you, I'm not so <laughs> sure I believe that really happened because she took about four months before she went to rape crisis. Four months. What? And a lot of women don't report rape. I under I didn't. I never remember hearing that he raped her, that she said that Chris raped her. This is the same Chris, right? Yeah. And so, Sabella says, yeah, she accused Chris of rape as well, but never reported it. Was this like while they were together that she accused him of this or before or after or what? I understand that. I completely understand that. But she didn't even take care of the STD. If she didn't have one, thank God. No. Oh, this wow. time. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Chris addressed the grape. Shani would berate him for his sexual performance so much that he stopped trying to have sex with her. Wow. Wow. That's the only reason. She's had them before. She's had them before. Disgusting. Um, that ugh. I know. He knows. He knows that because he was dealing with that at that time. I had to, I had to take her to these places sometimes. Yeah, it's been a hell of a life with her. It really, truly has. Okay, so it was and now, after they broke up, Sabella said. I can picture her doing that. Yeah. To, as, a, as just trying to get him back or whatever, because she's been addictive. Or get addictive. back at him. Mm-mm-mm. She is always, uh, she's obsessing over me dying. She wants me dead. And she, God is going to kill me. I mean, she mentions it in all her videos. And I think it has to do with this guy. I don't know if you know him, David Weiser, because he's always like, uh -huh. oh, my mother, I'm glad she's dead. Da, 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 da. He kind of. Egged it on. Eggs it on. And she's always, but, um, you know, the, the simplest thing for her, for Shannon is just to move on, forget all this shit and that ha that she thinks happened <laughs> in the past because it didn't happen that way. Shannon, this, now this I, I did hear that Shannon for life. I did hear, um, that she says that happened to her in jail, which I don't believe either, but yeah. What? Um, Wait. Yeah, when she was arrested. See, we're gonna uh -huh. review. We're gonna review that video as well because you've never seen that one where she got, gets arrested for hitting Rev with a whip or whatever. Um, but apparently, when she went to jail, she has this whole story that she got in jail. She got R worded in jail. So yeah, <laughs> I uh, know for wasn't her. she only in there for like a few, like for twenty four hours. Yeah, well, and was this was the story that she actually I, like that actually happened, or they just had her clothes off of her, or like that? We'll have to watch that because I honestly don't know all the ins and outs of that specific story and and instance. So they took her to the ER first. No, that I think I don't think they took her to the ER first. They took her in an ambulance, but that's because she could not fit in the patrol car. So they had to call an ambulance to come get her to take her to the jail because she couldn't be put in the back seat of the car. Fact. And I would swear to God in front of St. Peter and anybody else that you want to put up in heaven there, that it didn't happen the way you're saying it did. Yeah, and it's really sad because just she, all she, I want you to do is have a good life. That's all we that's worry. It. That's all we worry about. You don't about. have to talk to us, you, but don't talk about us and say lies Jeez, like. Jeez, Shani for life. I mean, she, she, it's you know, not. I'm. Hmm, this is hard because you don't ever want to say someone's doing something that, and they, and when it really did happen to them. But she's either one of the most unlucky people ever, or what? For that to happen that many different times is fairly rare. You know what I mean? And also, like, like somebody that's fucking disgusting like not you know well babe you know some people might like her you know what i mean it's just whatever floats your boat but enough people to do that over and over like to just see her no and, comment like, have to have her no i comment. must have this blob of <laughs> no comment no comment you are but she doesn't talk about you it's always me it's well, always me and well, I let me tell you something. I can't drive because I after my heart surgery it affected her eyes. I had a uh, fluid changes and I ended up bursting blood vessel in my eye and I could not see it all. I only saw brown out of my uh, oh, right Jesus. eye. That I had to turn horrible. my driver's license in because I couldn't pass the the um, vision test. 
And um, so the, I'm still interrupted again, but don't you think that it's a little bit suspect that she claims that over and over again, but then on the and the same breath says that she's fucked every ethnicity of person, right? Threesomes, like multi, like many, like come now, on. I mean, Commando said I heard of a girl who was R worded three times in one night, but she was roofy. Now that that is different. I mean, in the same night, right, like right, that right. that I I have heard and would believe that, but on different occasions like this. You know, it's possible still, too, but you have to ask yourself, too, what is the, per like, is this person getting really intoxicated around other people? Like, what is causing you to be in a situation where that can happen over did and you over say, again? Did you say command? I think it's Kamado. There's no N, babe. What did I say? Commando. Kamado. Kamado. There's not an I N? I think. An N. Oh, I see. Kamado. Yeah. Is that how it's said? I'm so. sorry. Then I've been saying it wrong. My bad. No worries. Where I and what they did was is they voided my driver's license. So now I actually because it's been so long, uh, it's been since last year at this last time. Year, yeah. Chris Hansen. Because I had to um You're crazy. get that taken care of before Joey got married mm -hmm. so I could get give identification to Homeland Security because he got married on a they got married on a cruise ship. So you had to be last year. My, oh, my, my young my uh, not my that, youngest son, my and this is oldest May. son. We're talking about May here. Have a good yeah. night. But anyway, um Okay, he got getting it. Getting back to the boys. Kamado. William doesn't lie. I think I got it now. When he peed on the floor upstairs, what did he say, Joe? <laughs> Zachary did it. Zachary did it. He didn't do it. And she said, William doesn't lie. But what did she do to William? Punished him anyways. She flipped him over his knee and started spanking him. He's nine years old. She started spanking him. Okay. Oh, wow, that's that's because a bit of his strange. lying. Um, when she, uh, the day that she came to the house when she got out of jail, I called him at work and I said, "Joe, can you sit down for a minute?" He goes, "Yeah." <laughs> he knows that voice of mine, and I said, "Shannon's back," and he's like, "What?" Yeah, Shannon's back. Chris left her. She doesn't know where the boys are. He came home immediately. I mean, immediately from work. He left work, came home. And we went, we took her right away over to the house that she lived in. Tell them what it was like halfway up the stairs. What could you smell? Oh, God. This. Urine. It just, it was filled with urine. They were peeing on the floor regularly, but she pretends that that never went on. Anything that you try to bring up about her, she pretends that it didn't happen or she'll turn it around. She'll turn it around and make it seem like you're crazy or or whatever. Chris Hansen. So you the are big crazy. thing that she's saying in here, and um she was here that whole day when I went the day that he asked Shannon to leave and the day that I went to the hospital because my blood pressure was It was Christmas through. Eve. It was Christmas Eve. I had the day off. Yeah, we, he took a lot of time off during the time she was here, too, because of her. A lot of time off. But, um, which didn't help when, you know, we'd been in and out of the hospital because no. it, it's a four-hour drive to the Mayo Clinic. And I was being treated at the Mayo Clinic because there's only 10 hospitals in the country that deal with the congenital heart condition that I have. Wow. And um, they told me that I should not have any stress in my life, that I need to start putting that away. So I deal with things differently. <laughs> I try not to get myself worked up, which is why I'm not, I don't really want to sit here and How are you doing oh. tonight? I just want this to be a moment where maybe I can make somebody understand the more that you feed into her and she sees your, and, and I'm guilty of it too. I'm guilty of it too, but I come to the realization that the more we're just, we're all we're doing is feeding into her and giving her an excuse to, mm -hmm. you know, make these negative videos and get her that. negative attention from people and everything else. These negative videos aren't going to work anymore, Shannon. Uh -oh. I'm not watching any more of them. I don't care <laughs> what you say. If you'd say anything, just get a frigging life. And enjoy it. Ooh, That's mad. all you have to do. Enjoy your children. If you want to enjoy your family, 
Try making some amends and stop trying to make everybody oh, feel you, so Mario. bad about you. Because your sisters don't want to talk. Your sister doesn't want to talk about it. We were your brother doesn't want to talk about it. And Michael certainly is devastated by the things you've said about him. Yes, I her am. brother I'm is gay. Uh, uh, and she, now He's, all of a sudden, oh, by the way, she's pro-gay now. All yeah, of a he sudden. was the nicest person in the world, and she owes him an apology. It was horrible wow. how she treated him and the things that she said about him and to him and behind his back. Wow. It, it's it's Good night, Sabella. He's never hurt anybody in his life. Honestly, he, he's a really great guy. He is, he's taking care of Hey, babe. Do you think yeah. maybe do you think maybe we should just do half of the video tonight and do the other half tomorrow so that you can get some sleep? Your call, babe. I'm good now. You woke me up in a very sweet way. <laughs> and now I'm wait and good to go. Well, we'll go for a little bit longer. How about that? And then we'll yeah, maybe we'll switch it that way. That way it's just not too overwhelming because I know that you got to work and you're probably kind of tired. Her children. He's the um, nicest guy in the world. I feel world. bad. He is. He's my youngest <laughs> oh, son. He, he's Thank really, he, I'm really proud of the person that he is. And, um, you know, I don't care what the Christians say about him. They don't understand who he is as a human being. And uh, Jesus wouldn't say anything. No, I don't him. believe that Jesus would. Not <laughs> Black at belt, all. baby. I mean, he loved everybody unconditionally. Unconditionally. I think it's Black Belt. Beat. What part of that know, doesn't yeah. anybody get? Yeah, that's what I, I don't Wait, know. You're saying it. Uh, Black earlier. Belt, baby, right? B Is it BB? I see that it's BB, but I thought that you should might. It might be pronounced as bebe, like no Black earlier. Bebe. No earlier. Are in you sure? Earlier in parentheses, she said it's b b b e b e. That's another reason I. Have. Oh man, <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm really bad at this. I'm I'm really bad at the whole reading part of people's names. So I apologize. That's two. Maybe I need you here all the time to correct me, Dave, because you know them more than I do. <laughs> That's I just, I'll it tell you what it is. Me. I think it's just hard to keep like because the only reason I would have known that one is I saw earlier she actually said that it was BB. Um, but I think that the chat goes by so fast. I mean, there is there is no possible way to keep up. Sometimes. I'll, I'll be reading one and then literally I'm reading it in the middle. It's gone. And I can't yeah. really find it again. Like it's up, well, the, you know, the other issue that I have on my screen is that it shows like some of the word, but if it's a person that's got a little bit like a longer um, title or whatever, it'll like cut half of it off. So then I just, really? I don't, yeah. So then I don't even know what the second part of it is. And yeah, that's it's, annoying. yeah, it is. <laughs> With Christianity, you know, they want to tell everybody I feel else you, how Anne. they're That's supposed how I feel. to I'm live. You know, while they're I know living. I sleep. <laughs> well, how they yeah. want to. The Bi the Bible, the first part of the Bible, the Old Testament, is in the Torah. It's in. Um, it's also in um, the book that the Arabs find the Torah. The Torah and what is the other the one? Oh, right? hail the Quran. No. Thank you. <laughs> I like your name. Oh, hail no. The words I like to follow are the words of Jesus. And that's how I think we should all live, because if we did, we'd be living in a much better world and happier for each other. It's a world Hi, of Queen love. Lady. Jesus wanted a Hi, world Luna. of love. His ideas is what basically what he's saying. Jesus's ideas, that his idea of, of love and um And I'll tell humanity. you something. If you believe in if you believe in God, you believe in Jesus, you should believe in Jesus' word. Mm-hmm. I gotcha. I got you, boy. And things do evolve because the son evolved from the father. Well, uh -oh. Shannon fits her narrative. Um, I, and I, she I would, fits her narrative. Yeah. Into, Good night, farmer in the cell. Um, what she can quote out of at the time. She can quote out of the time. Bible. Have at a the good time. Night. Yeah. She, Look at the whole picture, sweetie. That's what you need to do. I want her to stop saying that I'm going to die. I'm actually so much more healthier now than I've been in the last couple of years. I mean, oh, you can sad. see yeah. even by my old video. I mean, I was pretty stressed out when I made that video that um, Thick Shades mirrored. And I'm glad that he did it. Um, actually, I have to give Thick Shades 
a lot of thank yous because oh, thank you, Kamado. I trusted him. And um, she was saying that uh, I lost my nursing license because of drug abuse. Not true. Which is further from the truth. I've always been. Not true. Yeah. Never. Never Ugh. would that happen. Not in a million years. I'm I was, shakes. I know. Are you all right? Yeah. I was a good nurse. I really was. You know, I wasn't the best of anything in my life. Um, I worked towards improvement Damn, all the, the poor time. Dad's That's just how I am. You know, she loved her family. I'm hard on myself. She, she loves. Mad. She loves. She loves me. She loves her family. All of her family. She still loves you, Shane. But anyway, she and said, I love you too. But I, I'm not putting up with this. Anyway, I can't live like that. She said that um, I had lost my license for drug abuse. And I said, Thick Shades, do me a favor. I'm going to give you some information that I would never give to anybody else. I told him how to get into the North Carolina State Board of Nursing. They have compact license, which is good in several different states. I could probably work in Texas under my North Carolina license if I wanted to because of the compact license system. Um, and uh, anywhere that you have any discipline problems, it will show up in all it's, 50 states. It's nationwide. It's nationwide. Um, they don't let that get away with. So I told him to look it up and he proved it. It's in the video that he made uh, on uh, it also says his Uncle you, Sam and it'll account. It'll also say if you've been fired, doesn't it? No, it doesn't say anything like that. It's called dis under disciplinary action. Okay, that would be, I have wouldn't none. firing be that? Huh? Wouldn't firing be a disciplinary action? So it would say it, that. Yeah, but it's on. It's not under. It's not a separate category. Okay. is what I'm saying. It's, it, everything falls under disciplinary action because that is a disciplinary action. You're right. So nothing, nothing bad. She's done nothing wrong in said, her career. No, nothing. She's she's the best nurse I've ever seen, <laughs> and I trust her with my health. Um, Chris's channel's name is Odd. It's Odd. Uh, what is it? Let me see if I can. Somebody in, in here probably knows it. It's odd something. Odd irreverency. Odd irreverency. What is it? Give me a second and I'll think about it. I'll figure it out. Thanks, Joe. Odd irrelevancy. <laughs> I learned a little bit along the way. <laughs> well, she's, I'll tell you something. Another thing she's done is she's seen some of the medicines that some of these doctors have tried to give me. And she says, no, no, you can't take that. That'll react with this or you're going to have a really bad reaction. You can't do this medicine. So talk to your doctor. And he says, oh, my God, I would have given this to you. I'm sorry. Yeah. And one, that's the truth. One thing about living up here, um, we're about two hours away from the Twin Cities. We're really isolated. We're really landlocked because we're kind of surrounded by a huge lake, <laughs> Lake Superior. And um, the medical care up here, um, I can't say of the current hospital that we're at, but the previous hospital that we had made a lot of mistakes along the way. And um, it. Pro okay, here you go. I'm going to drop his, Chris's um, channel is right here. I'm dropping that in the chat for anybody that's interested. There you go. Along the, um, not only prolonged my, our, both of our sicknesses and what we've been going through because we're old geezers now but um thank you shannon for life it threw us into massive debt which gets back to shannon not working when she stayed here um jason was giving her money every week and she, and uh g-man started a uh she'd go out go fund me account yeah. there was a girl on um from the christian community that gave her a thousand dollars she blew it before the week was over imagine on makeup, that oh on booze on clothes on pot and she went out and bought the kids something for dinner wow because she didn't want to have to make dinner for them or anything like that it's not like i might force her to make dinner i mean william wouldn't eat anything he'd be like this because he was so used to eating fast food all the time uh -oh. it was just easier you know i guess for her you know than to have to go through anything else um they were the kids. This is how much they were driving us crazy. They were throwing our silverware away, our bowls away, our cups and glasses. And then a lot of the bowls and plates and everything else was underneath Shannon's bed. Oh. And if they didn't like something and they were sitting in the dining room, they'd spit it on the floor. They would no. spit it on, they, they really had 
Especially what? William. I've seen really him do that many poor times. Social issues. I mean, they if they didn't like it, they'd <clears throat> like that. Just oh like it was just fine, just like peeing on the floor. Oh my god. Um, you know That's bad. She's never really lived with us long enough because there's always been some kind of major drama. Um, same with her sister and, and everyone else that she's lived with, oh, especially her ex-husband's family. Um, Chris's family was smart. She never let them live with her. She told them, no, you're going to the homeless shelter. And they did. And they only oh, spent wow. a few weeks there. They so didn't she's spend been a Aaron drove her from uh, North. So she's been to a homeless shelter before? I, I think she had said something like that in a video, too. Wow. Carolina up, up to here to get rid of her. <laughs> wow. That's true. She did. She drove her all the way up here. Well, she, she knows said, what Mom, I can't for, then. take it anymore. I just can't do it. But also, like, if she's oh, been to one, I mean, God. she acts like she's panicked for it to be even a possibility if she knows that she right. can go she to knows, one. Right. She obviously knows what. Yeah, and, and knows the, the system. Like, come on. Yeah. Yeah. This, I was. Uh, Helping Joey pay for uh, the apartment yeah. that he was in while he was in college at the time because he was um he this had is an before this is before she moved up he, here. My son's an electrician. He had an internship at the time, um, and uh, you know, I was on the phone with him all the time. He basically lived in his bedroom just to get away from her during that time. It was awful. It was just awful what he was going through. So okay, we've established. Shannon hates me. You were here the day she's bullshitting about. No. Silence led. She claims that she got R-worded at a homeless shelter, too. <laughs> My God. How many times has this happened? <laughs> wow. Yeah, they can't all be true. Oh. Okay, come on. Um, now, getting back to William oh. and the mm -mm. floor. How deep was the garbage, clothing urine oh god, god knows what other oh. kind of waste food oh lots of food how deep was it in the room eight inches 12 inches deep it was Jeez. a lot some places even two feet it was a lot it so, was an unbelievable what? pig style i went upstairs because he he said i want them out i can't stand it. i didn't expect her to go out of this house on Christmas Eve. Neither of us did. We just told her, he told her basically, that's it. I want you out of here by such and such date. We had bought Christmas presents. Yeah, we had Christmas. Oh, oh I'm gonna lose my my picture here. He, we bought Christmas nice presents. Nice Christmas presents yeah, for the they're, kids. A lot they're of actually them too. still wrapped and still in the bags right now, as a matter of fact, for the boys. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Just to give everybody <clears throat> A full view of uh, what her parents are talking about right now. Let's show what it looked like when Shani and Rev left their last place. When they left Colorado. How's things going, guys? Have you seen this before, babe? Um, it doesn't look familiar. Anybody in Colorado that's near it, go in and get anything you can. There's tons of stuff. Alright, look. Just watch. When you walk in, the first smell is This area is not too bad. But look, they left all of this stuff. Some scented something or another. Like all this. I mean, look at all that stuff that they left. Probably something mixed with, uh, probably and all they'd have to do is get a U-Haul and yeah. chuck what they wanted in there. God, They're too lazy. It smells like weed, but like really bad weed. And... Bunch of junk in there. Poop and Maybe like blunt rolls. There's just shit everywhere. I'm not even sure what any of this is. Just boxes. Look, like blood on the wall. On the wall. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Dried up quite a bit of it. Look, look at all that. Yeah. That's blood. That's blood. Do you this see is that? Like massacre zone. And look at the fingerprint going through it. It's like, shh, like it got swiped. All over the wall. And the kitchen's not God too, too bad. The long. refrigerator's nasty as fuck, but... That stinks. Oh, that reeks. Ooh, what? Okay. Yeah, no. See? Like, ugh. See all that? <laughs> look, look at that. Do you see that stuff up there in this in this thing? Mm-hmm. 
It looks like puke or something. Ooh. Like old rotting food. A lot of it. Like... Oh, this is terrible. Pretty terrible. And wait till you see the... Um, oh, they didn't show it. Look at the kid's bed. Look at the kid's bed. Do you see that? That is... That's Tell me that's horrible. not... That's child abuse. That is child abuse, straight up. There's no other way around that. That is child abuse. The freezer's gross. But like, hold on. Just... I'm going to pause it when it goes in there. Oh my gosh, that makes me mad. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the bottom part. Like, oh my god. It's just so bad. I mean, I don't know what you do to get a bed that dirty, but... It would be hard to even make it. Like, that looks like a bed that's, like, outside or something. You know what never, I mean? I mean, the linen's never been cleaned. Ugh. Not to mention that it's on the floor. This is where yeah. her kid, one of the kids was sleeping. Yeah. On the yeah, floor. I need to come in here and just take a film and get the hell out. So that's what I'm doing. I and then this is the bathroom. I smell this is where it's coming from. That has the it's cat like litter box in it. Just prepare yourself for this, because this is going to be disgusting. Do you see all that? God awful. <laughs> oh my god. Look at all the Oh my god. god. Jesus. At all. And that's the kid's bathroom. That's not her. The That's not the bathroom that her and Rev used. They had a se separate one. They That was one of the kids' bathrooms. Here's the other kids. Oh wait. Oh look. See, look at uh -huh. that's look at Shani's side of the bed. So like when they were talking about how there's like a foot of trash and shit and stuff everywhere, that's what they're talking about. Cause look, she did it there too. That is so bizarre. And then it's, it's not that bad on Rev's side. He's got a right. little trash can. <laughs> And then closed. Look at the bathroom. All this stuff and food. All this food and stuff in the bathroom. Like they were making food in the bedroom and in the bathroom rather than walking downstairs. They were that lazy that they could not even be bothered to walk downstairs. Look at this. This is one side of the sink. There's TV dinner, Swiss rolls, hot sauce, different bowls and things in there. Like... That's where they poop. Like you're pooping, and poop particles are flying around in the bat in the air, and you got <laughs> food and stuff. But do you know what I mean? Like there's yeah, that's where you're making food. And then they just left all this junk TVs. I mean, nice TVs. This is the other kid's bathroom and bedroom. So. They didn't take, obviously, all this kid's, like, little plushy toys or whatever. Like, a whole freaking huge thing of them. They just left. Now, get prepared, because this bathroom is really bad, okay? No. Worse, worse than the last one. Yeah. Yeah. In a way. What is that? Whoa. What is that? Um, I don't know. That's my question. What is that? It's like stuff's growing on it. Look, what is that? Is that just like mold? I don't know. That's so gross. It is. Someone's silence ledge said it's mold. So it's like it was never clean. So it's just like growing stuff on it. Because that, I mean, you can tell it's like the coloring. It's not like just straight up poop or pee. That's horrendous. Like that is so bad. I and can't that, even honestly. I can't even figure out what it is. Like it's just like they never, ever, ever touched it with a cleaning product. Right. And this is the youngest kid's room. This is the youngest kid's room and bathroom. That's where their youngest kid is sleeping, and using Jeez. the bathroom. Everyone saw how disgusting a disarrayed house was when we were trying. To to get everything out of it that we could. Do you know the state of a house when you have like two days to move? And they're trying to blame it on moving. Like that shit was there because of they were moving. <laughs> Come on. Such bullshit. Um, and the whole thing, it happened because the two of them 
had the bright idea to tell everybody when they first left the place, oh, yeah, if you want, we, we left a bunch of good stuff. So if you want any stuff, we left the garage door unlocked, come over and get it. So then people came over and then they got all pissed off that, saying that somebody broke in to set them up when it's like, dude, you told people to come over. What did you think they were going to do? Like, nobody really came over to look for stuff that much. They just wanted to see what the place looked like because everybody had already been saying, like, that this place was disgusting and that the kids Wait, were being neglected. Let me go get one. Prove it. Ugh. Okay. Just, you don't have to prove it, but so bad. <laughs> but yeah, we still have the So Christmas I tend to believe what her parents were saying about the way that her room looked, the peeing on oh, the floor yeah. and all that. I mean, to me, I would I would find that harder to believe if there wasn't proof that she has done stuff like that separate from them as well. So presence here. What happened was the cops come and said, you need to leave. The cops came over to the house. So this story about us making her leave on Christmas Eve, she did that on her own. She had to, cause she wouldn't stop her stuff. Um, I'll wait till he comes back with the Christmas present. He wants to show you. He feels really bad about all of this. And we don't spend our night, Shannon, um, worrying about you all the time and talking about what you did to us. We actually have a very strong relationship. And like I said, we're going to be spending time with the family down in North Carolina. Uh, the whole family's coming. Michael's going with us. This is two bags full of toys for the boys. Okay, don't yell. Two bags. Yeah, they're still wrapped and everything. Yeah. Everything's still wrapped up. I'm not going to bore them showing them, but I'm just... Blowing off steam. Blowing off steam. <laughs> Poor parents. I feel bad for them. I'm sorry that it has exactly, to come to this. I really am. I, you know, partly it's like they tried to say that they left all the stuff because they didn't have the money to get a trailer or to rent a U-Haul. But I think it had more to do with just being flat out lazy. Like, I don't think even if they had been able to get a U-Haul, if somebody else paid for it, I don't think they would have loaded all that stuff up. I, he doesn't want to do shit. She's not going to do shit. The kids don't want to do anything. I mean, that they're being raised like they are because of them. Nobody, like, nobody wanted to fool with, with packing the shit up. So they just left it there like that. Like, who does that? Damn, I am sorry. Somebody that's really fucking that lazy. Oh, look at this. David Weiser is in the room. Oh, my God. Why would you say that? Even if it were true, why would you say that Shani committed rape with a 15-year-old? Because that's her behavior, David. That's the behavior that she has. That's why he says it. Ask her to deny it. Ask her to deny it. She probably will. Let her. Look her in the he face. He doesn't make this up. My husband's Look her not, in the face and ask her. My husband's not crazy, David. Okay? It was statutory rape at that age. I don't even know how many people in here. I didn't even know anyone was in here because we've been talking about this for so long. Okay. Um, so the police had already come over and whatnot, and he, she knew she had to go to work. She went to work, but she got another job and it was, I don't remember what that job was. She never told us what it was that she was doing at that know. time, but she got a job before Christmas because she wanted to get the hell out of here and get to Pennsylvania so she could be with, uh, revenues. And, um, I guess William texted his mother and said, Grandma said that she was going to kill us. He was right here. No, never happened. It never happened. I would never do that to my grandchild. I was a pediatric nurse. <laughs> you know, I was a pediatric nurse. I love children. Why would I tell my grand? Yeah, I think that David used to um, like stand up for Shani or at one time uh, supported her. Um, but I think that eventually, I don't know the whole story. I'd, I'd have to talk to him and let him tell you. But I, at some point, he realized what what was up and realized that she was a piece of shit. And he definitely doesn't support her anymore. So, grandson, that I'm going to kill him. But it doesn't matter. Uh, she spoos this all the time. This is his, her histrionics. You know, there's nothing I can do about that.
Shannon, you know, David, it says, then you can help her repair things that are not right. She would be more receptive to it. No, David, she's actually she not. She doesn't want anything you to are, do with us. You see, you don't know what we've been through over a lifetime. Everybody in her family. and Yeah, her, exactly, out, Shannon for life. Exactly. Anybody that ever thought about standing up for her and sort of, um, you know, used to back her in some way or whatever does not do it anymore. They all had to learn the hard way. Me being included in on that because I did feel sympathy for her for it. it might have been a short period of time, but it did exist and it ended up being not a very smart decision. So I her can't family, really like her blame anybody else there when I um fell for it. At everybody has too. tried to cut, cut her a break when she's had her crazy times. They'd say, oh, that's her mental illness talking. That's not her. That's a good idea, Silence Ledge. I might have to look into that. I think that would be a good idea. But compare notes. She repeats things over and over again. And everybody is against her. And everybody is doing something against her. Um, unfortunately, no, Teresa. Her parents are both. They both passed um, fairly recently. But in the last year or so. You can't repair her. I can't repair Shannon. She doesn't want to be repaired. She does what Shannon does. She chooses she not to. Good. I have said this before. And the one that actually made me aware of it was a psychiatrist that I had talked to about what was going on. You know, she can't manipulate. She shouldn't be manipulating her mental illness to the point where um, she uses that as an excuse. And that's exactly what she does. And she goes and, and yes, she definitely goes through periods when she's having. Um, Wait, what's going on? Uh, why is everybody against me? Are you being, is this you being uh, in character, Shani for life, or are you being serious? Lucidity? <laughs> yeah. So she, I just want to make yeah, sure. She will be lucid at times and just fine. And she won't talk about her family at all or anything like that. Mm -hmm. That's you can get along then, with her. Yeah. And the weird part about that is, is we're all like, oh, great. Maybe she's maybe she's pulling together. We're all like rooting for her. And then, bam, she okay, hits good. us all. <laughs> Let me you tell the, you something. You, you know what else you off. say? I shouldn't yeah. tell you. How would you like it if you were trapped in your basement? She has trapped me. No, you don't have to be sorry. I was just double checking. You know me. I'm just like making sure that everybody's being nice. In this house and wouldn't let me out of it. And was screaming at me, holding the Bible up, because I told her about a study that I read about manna from no, heaven. No, you can do it. You can do it. How these mushrooms Jenny. actually grow in the desert. Don't, don't worry. And about that. they actually have a lot of the nutritious properties of bread. And I said it could be that that's what you know they they deciphered as the manna for heaven was. There's a whole bunch. Of, you can Google it yourself if you want to. It seems like a real pissy excuse to have a fight though with your mother if you want my opinion shani doesn't need an excuse she helped me that's true in the bedroom and then i i got or in the basement and then i i ran upstairs i went in my bedroom and i have pictures of this too this happened several years ago when she was staying with us when chris was with her when when she was married to chris and um she followed me upstairs to the bedroom, knocked my dresser over. She broke um, something that my other daughter had given me that I had for years and years that Aww. fell off the dresser. Everything was all over the floor. I was trapped underneath a drawer from the dresser. Jesus. It was on my legs and I couldn't do anything because I pushed the dresser up against the door to stop her from coming in. And I was looking for my cell phone so I could call my husband so he could get home. Because she was torturing me. But eventually, Jesus. Um, how did we get her out of there then? I can't remember. Aw. Thank you so much for the super sticker, Dawson. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You're awesome. You came home from so work. Sweet. He came home from work and um, we said, that's it. You're out. That the was, cops that, were called. That was the first time yeah that was the first well not the first time well that was the, the second time the, yeah the second time that was the second time it's been three at times. this at this house that doesn't count all the other places right. where she lived yeah. with us so i don't know why you could say oh my god david this is this is what happened 
even if it were true. Yes, it is true. It's you know absolutely what? True. If she wants to spill things about people and, and say outrageous things, I mean, I've got my husband here to back me up. It isn't just me talking, David. It's not just me. I mean, you know, he was here the whole time. I don't know what else to do anymore. I can't stop her from making these videos about me. She makes it sound like, but I would be so forgiving. She's never been forgiving, ever, <laughs> not once. Everybody else is always wrong, and she's right. And that's how it's that. always been. And it doesn't matter. She told me that I would never see her again. Yet she makes video after video after video. And I've been collecting them, by the way. <laughs> I have monkey. them. I have them. And I'm saving because she's threatened to call. Uh, you and Queen Cat Lady She's better threatened stop it. to um, I get ya. <laughs> take it to court and take legal action or whatever. The problem with that is, is that she, between uh, the cops coming over as many times as she did, they she's, have, she's got a losing her here. kids, um, getting arrested twice for accosting people. And, and oh, what about that with uh, Chris's brother? That was for uh, assault. Exactly. That's what I was trying to say. That was for assault. And she pushed him through a door. I mean, she's a big girl, you know? I mean, and she's pushed me over a bike. Yeah. Sprained I, my ankle. Yeah. She's she's physically violent. <laughs> and he's six foot four. You won't indulge he was in his younger coke problem. too when that happened. She she's How dare a real you not strong indulge in girl. His coke problem. So you can understand. I'm five foot five and she outweighs me by a good I don't know. I'm not even gonna conject. Uh oh. A few hundred pounds more. Okay. Um Oh, damn. When she had me blocked down in the basement, I was terrified because I was married to a man who was an alcoholic and, and was abusive. He was he would get abusive when he was drunk. I got dragged across pavers one night. So and that marriage ended. And that other guy down in um, what's his name down in Houston, Houston there, Brett. Yeah, he would beat the hell. Out. He beat the hell out of her a couple of times. I've seen the results of it. Yeah, he was always there for me, even though I had to. I had to go from uh, Lynn Haven, Florida, that got just got wiped out, over to Houston and get her out of there. Mm -hmm. mm. So see, you don't know the whole. But see, it's stuff like that that makes you go. There was obviously like a lot of shit going on, though. You know what I mean? That she might have been exposed to. You know? Are you awake? Yeah, I mean. I don't know if I believe that. I'm sorry, I was chewing. No, I was just making sure. <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. Um, and it sounds like that was kind of, that was after her parents had split up and the mom had remarried somebody else. Right. So, I don't yeah, know, man. exactly. Yeah, I mean, there's no way to know for sure, but just trying to play devil's advocate. The story. You don't yeah, know. Yeah, you can't possibly know the whole story, but I'll tell you one thing. I, I have no doubt. That I could say, I could be sitting right in front of Jesus right now. And sure as can be, he would be, oh my God, I know this happened. I believe you. And it's uh, truth. It's absolute what truth. Is this? It says, but you just keep saying bad, bad, bad girl. Why don't you do better? D okay, David, let me ask you a question. How many times are people supposed to take her in their home and go through this? Like, we're not doing better? This has been at least we three bought her, times. We bought her clothes. She used her father's truck every day. Um, I took her to get her hair done. I mean, you know, we were paying, and and we have an extraordinary amount of medical bills. Her and her very first husband used to live with me. Can I finish? Before they got divorced. We have. Oh, I no. have an extraordinary uh -oh. amount. Uh-oh. That sounded like a Shani comment right there. When she said, like, can I finish? She does that to Rev all the time. Can I speak? Hey Shazza, how are you right doing? Now. Hey Shazza. Of medical bills. Her and her very first husband used to live with me. Can I finish? Before they got divorced. We have uh -oh, I have an girl. extraordinary amount of medical bills right now from all the surgeries that I had. Mail clinic is not cheap and the insurance doesn't cover everything. And um while they were here, she was going to work and she was gonna help pay for the extra electric and water and everything else. Well, it more than doubled the electric and water. And she tells everybody that all I wanted was money. And I was always asking for, for money. 
no, I wasn't always asking her for money. She kept, she wouldn't work. She had a job <laughs> for two weeks and any little bit of money that she'd get from Jason and, and, and from her, um, GoFundMe page, she wouldn't help out with anything in the she'd budget. Go, she'd Hi, go Ruby. buy smoke. My her. husband's getting ready to retire for God's She'd go sake. buy liquor and pot. Every yeah, Nina, you're that's yeah, I know uh, David Anthony definitely does not support her anymore. So time with them. We have a house that we have a lot of things that we need to get done with um, while he's going into retirement. Uh, a lot of things, you know, right? Yes, Queen Cat Lady. They they were together, you know, married. They split up um, when their kids were, I think, fairly old. They got back together uh, late, like they were with other people. Then they got back together later in life. Yeah. Exactly. Now we couldn't even put it on the market if we wanted to. This uh, message is held for review. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. I'll have to figure that out. Fine. I, I, I'll stick by it. I'm not worried about this. I'm not, I've not done anything wrong illegally whatsoever. I mean, she has a paper trail here between the police department between social services, she wants to go after me? I don't think it works that way, David. It doesn't work that way. You can believe and enable her all you want. I'm not going to stop prerogative. you. That's, it's, it's your prerogative. Absolutely. You know, but both. at least at least you know there's two sides to the story. You said worse things about your mother. Well, you know what? You you really influenced her because now she's saying she wants my head on a platter, David. This is David <laughs> Weiser, people. All right? Defending Shani for Christ. So it's I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to say, oh, but there's mm. something about her. Oh, you know, she's not telling the truth. That's why I've got my husband here. It's Yeah. He you want a palate cleanser? Here. Anne has a good idea. We'll have a little palate cleanser real quick. Let me pull that one up, Anne. I it think is... Shani's Twitch might be gone. Really? Did it get deleted or did she delete it herself? I'm not sure. Let's look. Interesting. While I'm pulling that up. Let's see. Uh, I was putting in the wrong name. I'm <laughs> <laughs> she's still there. Of course, she's still there. Let's see. Where is the one where they are at the restaurant? One second, guys. Here it is. I don't think you've seen this one either, Michael. Where they go to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Have you seen this one? This must have been when they had money. It definitely was when they had money. Here we go. Yeah, this place is super high class, man. I know, and I'm like wearing all this. Like, stuff. Just wait till I you know. see what they wore. Because they were going to a corn concert later that night. And they had this, you know, Ruth Chris uh, reservation to go eat beforehand. So they're wearing what they're going to wear to the concert now because they didn't know that this was like a nicer you know place to eat D Just discover wait. card Can you sure it's five nine one you got it okay Well, a VIP port. That's amazing. Come on. That's what we'll be getting all night. That's awesome, man. It's valley, baby. We were going to have a limo, but that just fell through. It was they were going to get a limo. They were going to take a limo to the corn concert, y'all. Is this That's... the high school prom? <laughs> That's how they were spending money back in those days, right? Idiot. Exactly. And they wonder why they're broke. Five seven zero, yes? Yeah. Nine two one. Three one nine one. Yeah, it's a Tahoe. 
before they got the Durango. You, you put in tip? A t absolutely, yeah. Uh, 20%, man. Whatever it will. How much tip? Uh, let me see. I mean, I don't know what's appropriate for. <laughs> five bucks is okay. Five bucks is you. Double it, ten. Ten bucks, my man. Double it, sorry, uh, the state uh, of the uh, car. Ten bucks, <laughs> my man. Children, and they're Just insane. Like, you know, like, we added, get he added my man like ten seconds later. Like, uh, uh, double it, uh, uh, ten bucks, <laughs> my man. Time, I'm sorry. You know, okay. <laughs> they are insane. They're good. They're good kids, but. Oh look, and they're that. blaming the kid. That they're blaming the vehicle being dirty on the kids. Did you hear that? Listen to this shit. Five bucks is you double it. Ten. Ten bucks, my man. My man. All right, listen. And I'm sorry about the state of the car. We have two children, and they're insane. You know, we couldn't get it cleaned in time. I'm sorry. You know. Everything's always the kids' fault, isn't it? They're insane. Okay. They're insane. They are insane. They're good. They're good kids, but. He knows. He does that. You can tell. You can tell they're not his. You can kid. tell. He knows. You can tell. I I, I can see it. This guy, like, and they're talking about a guy who is standing right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's awkward. I but also, awkward. you can tell they're not his kids because he's like, yeah, and the kids, they're insane. Like the way that he's saying is not the way like yeah. a parent talks about their kid. <laughs> you can tell. Yeah. Look at her. We're going to see corn tonight. Sure. That's yeah. why we look like. God. Like, look, you, got, you, you have to tell. watch. <laughs> you can tell, yeah. And you'll see what more. Of, the... You'll see more of her in a minute. We're going to see corn tonight. That's why we look like gothic freaks, you know. Gotta celebrate. Look, look. Oh at my him. god! Oh my god! This is what he's wearing to go to eat in Ruth's Chris. I would not. This is what he's looking like. He looked in the eat. mirror and was like, and thought this was you got it, Jason. You are the fucking man. Let's go yes. see corn. Yes, that is what he thought. <laughs> That's what he thought. Look, I mean, he is really proud uh, of himself. Yep. Yeah. He's he's like, corn is gonna We're going to see him. corn tonight. Super duper proud. That's why we look like gothic freaks, you know. Gotta celebrate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get Scary. a lot of footage of them playing, like yeah. a ton of footage of them playing. Yeah, but I'll be sick. I'm not gonna. What's the? This is good. This one. That is that. Oh, uh, fine. That's how long I've been with Discover, or my mother was. My mother had an account, and they put they grandfathered me in. All right. My one, yeah. my brother. Thank you. Yeah, well, God bless oh you so my, much. Thank yeah. you. Oh. All right, my, at, my, my brother. Did you, thank you. Did you see this, the pants he's wearing there? My my brother. Thank you. I, I am in touch with the little guy. <laughs> this Look, idiot. Watch, watch his pants. You see the pants right here? All right. My one, yeah. my brother. Thank you. Yeah, well, God bless you so much. Thank yeah. you. All right. That's what his folks, bottom half looked like. This is cool what? shit, folks. This is an awesome. Yeah. Here's get where ready, we're going. Get are ready they like, to cringe because like this is going to be really, remember, really remember bad. Remember Jinkos that yes. kids used to wear in high school? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what they're like. Oh, that's my it. God, this guy. Oh, and Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, which I still say the name of it is Sorry, Pain shit. Lash, I don't mean to make fun of your style. It's not yeah. that... It's not the wearing it that's the issue. It's the where he's wearing it. To wear it to go out to eat at a nice restaurant. You know what I mean? I would I'm wear something like that still, it. too. I just wouldn't wear it there. And look at what she's wearing, babe. She has a cape on. That's not a cape. That's a parachute. All right. This is classy as shit. That's a pool cover. Oh, Folks. Folks. Whoa. My brother. This place Whoa. is. Wow. My man. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Of course they're going to let you come I did in. not Let's expect you. This. And think, She's eating. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jason. God, this place is beautiful. Wow. 
<laughs> did you expect it to be? <laughs> no, I did not. I thought it would be like corn. They thought it would be like corn. Why would you think that? You I don't know. There, it's not like the where you're going to the concert has corn every day of the year. Like it's they come through when they Is go corn on playing tour. at Ruth's Chris. I mean, like what? Did, why I would just, you think the two are associated? Like they're not. They act like they have literally never been out in public before or something. Like it's crazy. Are you what? joking though? I mean, I look like at him. Gothic. He's obviously he's like, been in public. He looks no. badass. This is hugely <laughs> high class. I shouldn't be wearing this here. This oh. is huge. I'm sorry. Right. We're, we're <laughs> going to corn. Class. Yeah, to look the part for corn. You know what I mean? It's you like, gotta look the part for corn. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You sound like Chris Farley. No, yeah. Don't worry. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely, of course. That's of course the case. Yeah. There's no, no doubt about that. No, no doubt. Right, awesome. of this that is, is beautiful. Of course, like, wow. Look at May her have legs that are place. out. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my god. She couldn't even take off her cape. <sighs> have a nice family there. What do you dining. think these people are thinking seeing these two walk by? Wow. Uh, the same thing we're thinking. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Oh my Thank god. You. This is so fancy, man. My man. This is so fancy. No, this is like way too bougie. Bougie. Um, do you think the people sitting next to you want to hear wow. your dumb fucking commentary? Folks. He doesn't care. <sighs> he probably does think they want to. To be honest, he probably does. It's a wine glass, folks. I can't use that. Why? Why can't you use a wine glass? You don't have to drink alcohol out of it, dumbass. Look, Shani's about the food, my dude. She's like, give me this menu. Chef's features. <laughs> Damn, I'm looking at some of them prices. Wine pairing selections. $59.95. Yeah, not bad. How about you? What really were they good. thinking? What were they thinking? It's the classiest Where in restaurant that? I've been in. in all, <laughs> Did they not all. even look at the prices or whatever before they decided this was where they wanted to go? The they were thinking, we deserve it. Oh. We are rich. And now they're We're going out, Long time. my man. My dude. Okay, thank you so much. Petite filet with truffle crust. Black and scallops. I mean, I'm sure that it's halibut. good, but I bet it ain't that damn good. Actually, we do the mushrooms. Stuff and crab meat. I feel like you, we've ate you, somewhere you, like that before. You though. do what the was appetizers. It wasn't yeah, we've had, I mean, we've had. What no, was that? We've had one place, um, something grill. What the heck in Pensacola? Remember when we had oh, it, where yeah, they come the Brazilian come around? Steakhouse. Yeah, the yeah, Brazilian where they come around the thing and, nice. you, and they cut the meat off of the thing like for you at the yeah, table or whatever. That was nice. We ate at the you Brown know, Derby. Uh, and yeah. That was nice. I know it is. It's too expensive for that. Yeah. But you know what? She's like, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to get it. the black and scallops. Right. And I want to try some chicken barley soup. Wow. Entrees. Strawberry shortcake is a special dessert. Chef's features. There's strawberry shortcake, Rev. Get the fuck over it, bro. My wow. Man. I just can't get over that he's wearing all that makeup and shit right now. In this In restaurant. Chris, right? Yes. He is wearing that. He's gonna accidentally lean against that white leather and leave well, yeah, a I showed black you. smudge. <laughs> yeah, I showed you the place, look, folks. Look, so. look, look at him. There it He's is. Like, let me just take another gander at my beautiful visage. He's got those gloves, cut cut out finger gloves or whatever they are. Like the glasses too big for his head. The smile turned down. The green hair. Wait a second. Is that Mr. J I see in, uh, behind those glasses? <laughs> Later. <laughs> Mr. J. It's Mr. J. She is so fucking oh cringy, God. it makes me 
Oh, yeah. Literally no, that's cool. Yeah. George, our server, the good man, thank you. Oh, wait till you yes, hear what you. they say to the waiter. Thank you. We have YouTube channels. We're both YouTubers. My man. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Really? Listen, did you just hear him? He said that <laughs> no, we're both cool. YouTubers. YouTubers. George, our server, the good man, thank you. Yes. Oh, my God. We have YouTube channels. We're both YouTubers. Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Really? Uh, before you leave, I'll have to get your, uh, your name. Right now. Absolutely. Yeah, it's on the back there, Revelation News. Revelation News. Yes. Awesome. And she's Shanny for. He's working hard for that tip tonight, y'all. Christ. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'll have Trying to pretend time. like he gives uh, a awesome, half George. of a Thank you. <laughs> What's up, George? Enjoy, okay. Enjoy the appetizers. I'll be back around in a few minutes. Thank you, my brother. Absolutely. My so this brother. Thank you. Yeah. My, my brother. My brother. I'm, I'm gonna eat. Instagram is better for pictures. Where's the? Yeah. 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 That's the aftermath, folks. He is not the having a good day. Aftermath of and that's water. a seared ahi tuna. It's just so cool. Guys, look at look at that. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you. It does look good. Oh my I have to God. say. Look at the potatoes, folks. But it's they just glisten. Potato. They glisten. Oh, they're fucking potatoes, dude. Oh Jesus. They look glisten. At this. Oh. They glisten. It's yeah, wow. it's called butter. Those are just some talk about bougie, Idaho folks, spuds, yeah. man. Yeah. I didn't That's see no creature glisten. There, folks. The way the water was just glistening yeah. all over oh, your body. Oh, yo, body. Stuff. Romans, <laughs> Romans too. What'd you say to that me? Stuff? Oh, and then the rest of it's boring. He's talking to some street preacher or whatever. With a GoPro on? Yeah. So, yeah. A little, little palate cleanser there. Back to this. I mean, it was good to see Rev seeing potatoes for the first time. <laughs> oh, God. It's good to see you, my brother. I feel bad for her parents. Yeah, that's it's sad to me. I'm actually kind of makes me sad. That they died without, you know, getting to see them homeless. Damn, babe. <laughs> That's dark. I mean, they died thinking that she actually had a chance. That's rough. I'm joking. Oh. Oh, 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 wait. There was a little bit more to that. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you for letting me know. I forgot. There is more to this. Hold on. In a second, they go into the concert, and you have got to hear how Rev starts talking. When he walks into this concert, babe, he literally is talking like he has never... Like, same way, same thing that they do when they're, um... When they were doing the, um going into Ruth Chris, like, acting like they've never freaking been to a restaurant before. Now they're going to act like they've never been to a concert before. Just wait till you hear how this dude acts. <laughs> well, Listen. folks, we're at the Pepsi Center. Can you believe that shit? We're at the Pepsi Center now. And the thing is, it's just insane. The place is really big. What? Oh, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's really big. But it's pretty crazy. Folks, you know? we're at the <laughs> I know. You are so loud right now. <laughs> you see a lot of people in like plaid skirts and stuff. You know what I mean? You see you hear him? Because it's Jonathan Davis with his kilt. You know? <laughs> it's Jonathan Davis with his fucking kilt. You know? I what wonder if he still plays about? the bagpipes. Do you, do you think Jonathan Davis still plays the bagpipes? What is wrong with him? Because I know that he has a hard time breathing. This fucking idiot you know? has never been out of here. You're not the bat 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 You know what I mean? That it's the Pepsi point. Center. It's not like it you're in a, a like, secret location. Like, you're allowed oh to go in Oh my god. There. Hold up. I gotta hear that again. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It's really you know crazy. what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Better knowledge. my God. It's like, just insane. The place oh is really God. big. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's really big. It's pretty crazy. It's you know? crazy, guys. It's so crazy. I know. We're in a civic center. And it's just crazy. <laughs> Still yeah, like he needs his ass beat. But if he stuff, can beat us, you know I don't know if anyone can. Because it's Jonathan Davis with his kilt. His kilt. His bagpipes. With his fucking kilt. Like he's literally you know, babbling completely in here. I wonder if he still plays the bagpipes. Do <laughs> you think Jonathan Davis still plays the bagpipes? Yeah, he probably does. Because I know that he has a hard time breathing. You know? Look at Shaney waddling. You're not the bat 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 You know what I mean? That fucking point. You know what I mean? No. Like, no holy one knows what you mean. Jeez Louise. But you yeah, know the, the I almost forgot that part. part. Is that he what? saw that and was like, you know what? I sound I'm going to post it. I'm going to post this because I yeah. sound good and I mm -hmm. look good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And they still Bananas. continue to make mistakes like that to this day. He thinks yeah. the shit that he posts nowadays can live is with worth that. posting. It's better than it. having the yeah. hell that she has put in my life, in my life. And the hell that she's put to this woman in my life. I didn't want to do this. I don't need the attention from people. But she put the video out. I didn't put a video out about her. I only rebutted one other video of hers. One. I have pictures of the mess that she left the first time she stayed here, and I have pictures of the mess that she left the second time she and stayed here. And we have here. police reports of it. Mm -hmm. You want to not believe the police? I mean, what, Go ahead. What more? What more? What more can I say? Yeah, what, what more, more can I prove? There's nothing more. I mean, you know, it's unbelievable. It really is. Stick it's nice up for to her. See that her Go ahead. Clean Just it. because she says she's for Christ I don't want, doesn't mean she is. I don't want Shannon to fail. She came for me. She's Not my daughter. I want her editor. to actually find happiness, to find a happy spot. Why would she just bring oh, Shani this up wipes out her nose? Blue. She just wipes it on her sleeve and on her hand instead of on yeah, a fucking ugh. tissue like a normal person. Now, I haven't bothered her. I have not called CPS on She's her. She's got five million excuses to be happy. She can leave us alone now. I mean, she sure does put a show on for the camera, you know, with them smooching and everything else. And oh. Red is like, or else she's wrapped up in a rag around her head looking trying like to Bill look. Bill the Cat. <laughs> who? Bill the Cat? I don't know if anyone knows who Bill the Cat is. You never heard of Bill the Cat? No. From Bloom Google County, he had a he, look, he just looks like one a big eye. Yeah, he has this one life. big eye because he uh, <laughs> took too many drugs one night and it messed him up. And after that, it's just a, it's a cartoon. The writer had Bill story. the Cat with all messed up and. Uh, you don't know who it is. Look it up. Did you Google it? You know, no, um, the fact but I'm laughing that, at her. Um, Rev News is an alcoholic. I she said that I'm controlling. I know where that comes from because I told her I said. At be, after being married to an alcoholic myself, I told her, "He's an alcoholic, Shannon. He drinks every night. You're not. You're. You're. You're going to have problems. You're going to have problems down the road." Well, now he had seizures. All right, I'm where, it. Now he had seizures and he's having. Well, I don't know. Uh, unless it's unless it's a story. I don't. I don't think it is because he's or really he's doing kind of a, messed up. He's unless it's one hell of an acting. Job. He lays in the bed all the time next to her, near her butt cheek, and Ew, she what? smokes marijuana on the videos constantly. And she near her wants, butt and cheek. then they put this thing about social services in there, like they're like St. Louis County is going to check out her her YouTube channels. Like they have time to do that on a Saturday evening when they have families. Oh that my they god! Have to attend. Hold on! Hold on! Oh, yeah. Look, you guys, this is Bill the Cat. <laughs> <laughs> you have never seen that before? No, I don't think so. That's hilarious. There's Rev. <laughs> there is Rev. Wow. That does look like him. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Oh, Bill the Cat. <laughs> and they know me at social Cuddled services, by the Shani's way. But so you know, say whatever you want. All right. Is there anything else we need to do about with this? No, I think I've said everything I wanted to get. Someone will probably mirror this video again. And yeah, mirror it. It's the truth. It is the truth. What she's saying is not the truth. You know, and getting back, the last thing I want to say is, um, 
And this, this, this is every holiday we feel empty because Shannon's not there. And she doesn't realize that. I mean, we all talk about her. Remember when she did this? Remember the good stuff. I mean, none of the bad stuff. And it hurts every one of us that she's not there. She's our daughter. And um, I don't think you guys, some of you people that enable her behavior, I think it's great that she has friends. I really do. But you're enabling this behavior. You need her. to get her clean is what you need to do. Get her off the pot. Get her off the drugs. Get her off the off the liquor. Well, she's not drinking anymore that I know of. I don't know. I'm not there, but I know she what she used to do. Well, she ago. has a large amount of money to be able to go to the dispensary anytime she See, wants. The the trouble so this was before they ran out of money, clearly, because she just said they have a large amount of money. You is when she cake, leaves to go pick up her pie. sons and is still high, but she pretends now because people have been bringing it up. She now pretends that, oh, I've got to sober up before I go get the boys, you know, things like that. I haven't called social service on her. We're not going to either. Mm -mm. No. Don't you care about your grandsons? Yes, we do. We do care about our grandsons. We've tried to help them many times. Um, she stayed with me when she lost her kids. This is the first time when she was here, when she held me down as a prisoner down in my uh, basement. And um, then Chris and her got married and uh, they got an apartment over here and it became infested with bed bugs. An anxiety closet? I don't know what's an anxiety closet. Maybe I need one. I know I have anxiety, so because Shannon's not I a very clean much. person. Oh, they're talking and about bed her bugs? got married. Wait a minute. And uh, they got an apartment over here and it became infested with bed bugs because Shannon's not a very clean person. And that house, oh. that place, they actually had people come in from social services to teach her how to clean and take care of the house and take care of the children. They had to go through child caring classes. What? It didn't do a whole lot of good. So she's it, already we done all that before? So she's already went through parenting classes all before. I'm sure. Well, if she lost her kids, my <laughs> god, a lot of times. Then there's I'm like sure then then there's no helping her. Like there, she's not going to get her kids back. I mean, I, at this point, I don't. I really don't think she wants them back. But over there one night to visit, and the house was like it was up in the bedroom upstairs. It was awful. That's also why it, it was just factor, awful. You know, like I would be oh my god distraught you know but she just doesn't even she doesn't even think about him she doesn't she's even think about it him. Now, though. Yeah, she's she literally it. does she doesn't mention them like she the other night when she was crying and, and raging and she, she mentioned them for a second but i think that was just to get sympathy not because she actually cares if she actually cared she would be doing something to get them back right not living in a motel room still not working <laughs> just throughout the whole house you know, and you can say whatever you want about me, David Weiser, but I get a chance to say, we get a chance to say. Finally, yes. Our, our, what happened too, you know, we get a chance to say it. I'm tired of this stuff. It's insanity. It's just crazy. And I'm sure it's going to happen over and over again. But you know what? I'm just laying it out there now. I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Um, if anybody has any questions or anything, please feel free to ask. If you don't, you're probably wiser to just stay out of it. Out of it. And and the biggest reason, like I, I originally wanted to make a video before she come out with hers tonight, and I wasn't. It's just, I, it's just to set the record straight. No, actually, what I wanted to do is tell everybody to s stop talking about her all the time because it's exactly what she wants. Yep. She quite even said that they have a fart attention. closet. She's been that way since she was a child. Uh, it wasn't as pronounced when she was a child, but I see now, like, after I did some um, research on borderline personality disorder, um, I can see some of the things that she did when she was a, a child, and it just got worse and worse over the years. And she did go through a traumatic event when she was 16 years old. I, yeah. I let Dragnut know what that was one day when we were talking in the room, so he could at least understand 
part of the reason why she's the way she is. You know, she hurts people. She makes racist comments all the time. Um, and then she says she's not a racist while wearing a rebel flag coat. And Wait, you know, what? I, I can't. I can't. You're wearing a I just, rebel I can't. flag coat? I don't wow. find it funny. I really don't. I mean, Shady. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. <sighs> it's it's sad. I've never tried this. Like when your anxiety is bad, you find the smallest room in the house and take all your stuff in there and chill. Maybe I should try that when my anxiety is bad and see if that helps. I've never sure. tried that. It's before. incredibly sad. You don't know what it's like for us to go to bed at It'd night. Be better for me, at least. And the first thing that's Shut on up. my mind are all our kids. <laughs> that's how it is. All of our kids. And you sit there and it's like, oh, shit. You know, and you just long for, you still have that like little glimmer of hope that maybe someday they're going to change I'm and, losing and they don't change. They, I, I, I've kind they of, don't change. I've kind of lost that. I don't have the hope for her like I used to. And if mm. she showed up again, I wouldn't let her in. No, I don't think she she will ever be able to come back here. I, 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 I think we I, have I reached the pinnacle to I where that don't, is not don't no see longer that. an option. I don't see that happening. And that's I because, can't go through it again. No, we're old geezers now. Hi, we have both worked hard our entire lives. Um, I Aww. spent 36 years as a nurse. I went back Thank to college, you. got my master's degree in communication with a concentration in health communication, and then found out about my heart. The Good week point, Patty Patty, if you're claustrophobic. And I'm, I never used to be claustrophobic, but now I have started kind of becoming a little bit like that. Like um, for my son's birthday, we were going to go to, uh, what was that, a hockey game or whatever? Yeah. And um, I was, you know, going to ride in the back seat of the of this truck, and it was a small truck, but I'm not big. I mean, I could I could fit back there good enough, but I couldn't do it. Like I just couldn't, and I've never had a problem like that ever. But I felt like I just overwhelmingly had this feeling like I've got to get out of this. Like I cannot be in here, or I'm going to freak the fuck out. And it was just really weird because I've never had that happen before. So was finishing up my capstone, and um. You know, we both worked hard. It's really interesting to see that there's a lot of us that, like, do deal with anxiety and stuff. Like, it's obviously something that is really um, common, you know? Oh, a weighted blanket. Ashley, does that work? I have wanted one of those because I feel like that would help me. Something about that, like, pressure, maybe. I need to try I, Like, I remember hearing about it, but... Um, and they were kind of like a big thing for a little while, but then it kind of died out, and I haven't heard anything about them for a long time. So, like, wondering if those are still a thing. Our entire you waited, you love yours, Dawson. I'm gonna lies. look into and that. It's time for us. I'm glad to you guys reminded me of that. Have a chance to enjoy. Do you know, have them at Walmart? Bit? I mean, is that okay? Do you know what my? Is it, is it okay for us to enjoy life? Do you know what my? Or do we have to keep going through this over and over again? You know what I do? I have one memory of Shannon that I'm just gonna keep focused on. One picture that I've and spent. I bet like it probably helps with um, anxiety, but during the winter and stuff, it's probably pretty cozy too, huh? Keeps you nice and like warm underneath there. Sounds oh cool. shit! What did I just do? You know, I just hope he treats her right and he doesn't get back on the booze. There, I said it. And she needs to get off the pot because he did say a lot of things to her when she was chasing him down. A lot of things he told her one time. Um, about uh, with Chris, because she used to spend five years on the phone with him and they used to talk for hours and hours. It was one of the things that Chris complained about in this video, which is still up, by the way. And, um, you know, Chris felt like, Where we further life, ahead you know, that kind of thing. The way I see it is if Rev got off of a crutch, which was booze, Shannon needs to get off of her crutch, which is pot. But anyway, and take care of your family. Yeah. But anyway, um, so I was trying to say something about uh, Rev. We overlap thoughts and then my thoughts go. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry honey. Too. I am. But, um, oh, what Rev had said to her. Uh, he told her one night, um, well, with you talking to me all the time, you don't have anyone else to blame for your marriage breaking up but yourself. He told her that I was here that night that happened. She went apeshit. Oof. She was boozing up and down. I mean, she buys some pretty heavy booze, too, let me tell you. And she says she didn't drink while she was here. Oh, Joe, please, will oh you tell God. him? <laughs> what is that stuff that, that you get from France? Um, the they had marijuana. Mist? She yeah, had one. Very, had, yeah, yeah, no, it, it had CBD in it, CBD oil or yeah, something. Yeah, she had that. That's another thing. But she also smoked or had that stuff that's called the, Which, the green, the green, the green be fairy. And it's from France. And it's it's got a narcotic Absent. in it, for God's sakes. 
And she bought that, drank absinthe, that down. And then she'd sleep. And, and the she, boys are they isn't that what they're talking about? Is absinthe? The green stuff? Are you there? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought you fell asleep. Sleeping. Yeah. Who else am I talking to, weirdo? <laughs> Just an imaginary friend in here with me. No, somewhere. but you're talking to this. This would be coming up. I got you. Up and down the stairs. And I know William had said that I was yelling at him all the time. The only time that I was upset with them is because they used to leave the 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 toilet running all the time and our water bill kept going Oh, wait, up. there's a video. You said, someone said, I wonder if Chris' video is still up. Um, which video? You're at why my water bill is sky high. Or something else. And they kept the toilet running all day long. And you'd find the toilet paper <laughs> and I with them, poop on it shoved behind oh the toilet they instead of in to, the toilet. They used Yikes. to take their toilet paper and instead of dropping it in the toilet, which is right there in front of you, they would. I'm a fan person too, Lovely Leech. We're fan people. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to sleep without a fan going. There's something about that sound that kind of lulls you, you know? Hide it throughout the bathroom. Sounds too underneath. quiet. But William one. doesn't lie, yeah. right, Shannon? They'd hide it behind the towels. I found it in my shelves in the bathroom. I'd find, find it behind the, the toilet. I'd find it in the cabinet. Um, How would you like to find shitty toilet paper? Used Every day. Paper. Yes. Yes. They're talking about used toilet paper, finding it everywhere. That is very weird. They'd hide it behind the towels. I found it in my shelves in the bathroom. I'd find, find it behind the, the toilet. I'd find it in Why? the cabinet. Um, How would you like to find cabinet? shitty toilet paper? Every day. Oh every God. day. So y that because I was upset about that, I was yelling and screaming at them. That's something a parent is supposed to teach their children. We taught all our kids how to be potty William trained. used to stand at the top of the stairs and just stare at me and, and wave back and forth like this. It was real strange. It used to freak me out and stare at me. <laughs> I would sit on the couch because I had told you I just got home from weird. having um, abdominal surgery and I was still getting my, uh, my blood treatments. And let me add one thing about William, all right? The day that he left, he was making, he was, he was telling uh, people, his mother, that he, grandma was attacking him and stuff like that. I says, you know, that's a lie. And you know what I got for that? I got a smile like Damien from him. I knew <laughs> he, he was lying. I knew he was lying and, about and, that then. And Zachary, wow, this is Zachary crazy. came up to me before they left. And he goes, I'm going to miss you, Grandma. And he put his arms around me. I said, I love you. I told him I oh, loved you. He hugged, both of, she hugged both of us before he left. So those are abuse kids, right? Hopefully it's not giving you nightmares then if you're falling asleep listening to me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> William's been with her a long time. She's, I think she's used William to get her way a oh, lot. Well, yeah, when she goes out and leaves them with people. I mean, Chris used to do everything for her. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't clean up after herself. She'd have Chris get up and do this, and Chris get up and do that, and Chris get up and do that. And he'd run, 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 run. And he was working full time most of the time. She was only working for a short time for the cab company. And she makes it sound like, I was working my ass off. Yeah, well, she's after still, a few weeks of work, it's really exhausting. Well, we're saying, what about that one meeting that we were at? It's for social services and the, the the lady that was in charge of the social service meeting that told told everybody at the table that Chris had latent homosexual view, ad, attitudes. Mm -hmm. Where would he get what? that from? Except for from That's... for Chris actually doing something, or from his mother who made that story up and told people to tell him that. Wow. His so, mother, Chris's mother. I don't know what you're. Where I'm you're not going talking about this. Chris's mother. I'm talking about Shannon saying, ha, telling, telling social, telling oh, social social William. So to say that to social service. I never heard so they social services never said that out loud. This was they a story that did. Shannon could It was not. at the table. I heard it. I was there at the social services meeting and mm -hmm. in the office there. I don't wow. remember them saying it. I oh, remember Shannon okay. telling me that. Well, it's, actually, it's, it's Chris, actually true. Actually, Chris was the one that told me. He was there. No, Chris told me. He was standing right there in the living room when he told me. He goes, they said that I had latent homosexual. Oh, it was right. after he saw them. After he Yeah, had I was at that meeting. After No, it was right after he had the psych eval before we had the meeting. He told me about it. And he goes, but whatever. And I'm like, really? He goes, yeah. And I said, wow. Because I was really, you know, I was trying to be on their side. I was trying to understand what they were going through. Wow. And I wasn't really sure about the services that they were getting, to be honest with you. I was, they were suspect. To me at that time yeah to, yeah because you're trying to hold you're you're trying to uh stay strong and stay unsupportive for your daughter is what you were trying to do then it was really difficult it was she that and she's and she never supported her daughter but she stood up for that and thought that that was probably a lie and not true at all i took care of the i actually took if i was beating on her if i was an abusive mother her whole life which she put in social services statement then why was i appointed to take care of the boys when the foster family wasn't able to take care of them 
you know, oh, well, people can argue, oh, well, social services screws up all the time. But the fact is, is that they designated both the parents to be able to, um, his parents and us, to uh, be there in case Shannon went off the deep end again and um, to never, <laughs> never let this happen is what they said. Wow. Well, guess what? It happened again. Wow. And whoever the idiot is who said they're from St. Louis County Social Services, give me a break. That's not even funny. That's ridiculous. There's no way anyone from social service on a Saturday would come in in a chat room and <laughs> or, or a live stream and oh. post something like that. They have people that are on call on weekends and they're really short with people right now. They don't get the funding now that Trump is president that they used to get under a Democratic uh, administration. They've taken a lot of funding away from them up here. So their ability to do things is little. I, you know, that wasn't even funny, whoever you are, troll. Wow. All right. I think we should end this. Yeah. <laughs> if it's disturbing, I'm sorry. I, you know, no, actually, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all either. I'm, I'm not glad sorry. this came I'd out. I'd like to clear this up. Shannon, we love you. Don't like what you're doing and stop lying about your mother. Simple as that. Stop lying. Shannon, I just want you to have a, a good life. I want you to work at having a decent life. I'm not controlling you, I don't tell you what to do. I did warn you about if controlling you is warning you about an alcoholic husband. Well, Fuck me. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you said you're sorry. That's what she wanted. Well, I've always said I'm sorry. I've said, <laughs> I can't tell I you know. how many times I've said I'm sorry. Oh, first, I know, I know, I know, I know. I, I'm just, that, that bullshit that she was saying earlier, I thought. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't even know how. I don't know how to. I don't even you. know how to live with this anymore. Okay, Jillian. It's just gotten to the point We're where gonna be wrapping I'm up so soon too. drag down over it and the only thing we can do is just put it away yeah that's i garden i mean we just i grow my own food that garden is like my haven it's everything to me if that's what i do i've always had a garden anyway with my herb garden she said that i was a witch because i had an herb garden and i was growing potions and spells what wow okay. there was a lot of things that she said about me remember yes oh i have dementia sharp memory as hell I, I have dementia. I can't get what away else with did anything. she say that day? First, she said she had dementia. And she was acting like she was concerned about me, and then she said something really evil about me. I mean, they kept coming up with these stories. I think Ed, uh, Rev was egging her on on the phone too. They were trying she, to she figure a, out what was wrong with me. She has a bunch of people that egg her on. This David Weiser seems to be one of them. I don't even know who he is. Uh, I, I know that Not other guy. Rev. Um, that Rev. Rev, Rev News. Not Rev Jason. News. Jason. Uh oh, uh, your son-in-law. Yeah, the one that wanted to beat the hell out of me when I was... Uh, oh, yeah, Jason threatened to beat the hell out you of my husband Jared Lito. because of her stuff that she started on the phone. This was right after he got his knee repla knees replaced, okay? It was he Christmas Eve. He couldn't even, you know, he could hardly walk at the time. It was awful what he was going through, what we were both going through. And I was sleeping on the couch every night so she could have the, the room and the privacy with her boys. And she would spend most of her time sitting in that bathroom upstairs, smoking on her bong. And, and William and he, making videos. And there is one thing about William. He came to me and he said, I know she's smoking pot all the time, but it's going to stop. Well, I wonder how he feels about that now. Wow. I mean, seeing his mother. I mean, she still locks him out of her bedroom. They knock wow. on the door. Go if, away. If they're sick wow. or something, it's like, go back upstairs. You know, uh, it's the same thing that she did here. Oh it really God. is. Wow. But there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing we will do about it. They're on, they're on their own. They're on their own. Something happens to Rev and she he tosses her ass out for taking his money or whatever. They're on their oh, own. That's it. Wow. Both of her husbands end up waking up to, um, I mean, they, they did at first. They were, I mean, I remember Doug saying he loved her with all his heart. And they did everything that they could to... Why don't I just say that I love her? I've said it several times in the video. I, I talked about how when we have family um, functions that all we do is sit around and talk about her when she was younger and everything else. You I pray for her every night. I don't know what he was doing, but he's a little troublemaker. He well, really is. Ignore him. You could just turn this off. You don't need I don't to. know how to like delete Hide. people and all that. Hide him. I'm not worried about it. Let him We're go. Let him talk. Home. I believe in freedom of speech. Yeah, well. Uh, let, let him go ahead and figure out things on his own. I, I don't I don't really care anymore. You know, I'm not trying to justify myself to her or to him. I do love my daughter. I talk about I it all my the daughter. time. You I want her to have a good life. But I want her to leave my wife alone. I have told her. I can't tell you how many times I told her that I loved her when she stayed here. I mean, I remember 
after we went, took and got her, her hair Good fixed because her hair was just so disheveled. So I took her to the beauty parlor, got her hair fixed. And she went, Rev, or uh, G-Man was doing a video to help raise money for her because Chris committed adultery. His big video on that. And she got herself all dialed up. And I'll be honest with you, she looked gorgeous. She really did. She, I felt like she was getting a little bit of her, you know, self-image back, you know, feeling a little bit better about herself. And um, G-Man even commented with her. He goes, I don't think you're going to be single for long. He had said to her, well, like, whatever, you know. <laughs> but um, she, she was working on herself at that time. And then um, the alcohol came in. And uh -oh. uh, it just, it snowballed from there. It really did. I mean, you can love somebody, but it doesn't mean that you have to put up with what you're going through, not unless you're a masochist. And it doesn't mean you have to like <laughs> what's going on either. Mm -mm. Exactly. So I think we ought to end it there. Yeah. I don't care what David says. I mean, you know, he's going to think how David? he thinks. David, help her. Yeah. Why don't you help her instead of encouraging all these negative feelings towards her, her family? She used to say that her brothers and sisters abused her, too. It depends on what week it is. You know, it they depends on what week it is. Two of them live in North Carolina. How can they do anything for her? They don't even get on the Internet. They were up here not that long ago, just about three or four weeks ago. They came up to visit, you know, the evil mother here. And um, we had a really nice time. And, of course, while we were having dinner, I made a ham. And um, I made a really huge meal because I don't cook large anymore because it's just my husband and I now that we're old geezers. And um, uh, I mean, it was just nice to feel like a mom again, you know, and cook for everybody. And I was a grandma. I got to play with the kids and we had such a good time and everything. And of course, while we were at dinner, first thing we did was think about Shannon. So you can say, I don't say I love her, but yet she is always on my mind every minute of the day sometimes, especially when I go to bed and I say my prayers. I still pray. I'm not, like I said, I'm not the best Christian in the world. If you want to like accuse me and point your finger, it's like, oh, but you have to do it this way. You know, you're not going to get it from me. You know, I still have a lot of questions about things that are within the Bible and the way that people treat each other um, on a humane level. Uh, and that, that that just goes throughout the world and everything. And the way the churches treat everybody and how everybody thinks that they're so much better than the next person. Just yes, because somebody's they, an atheist, mm -hmm. you know, they... And it's correct. This is old. This is definitely old. And David does not feel the same way anymore. He he knows what a piece of shit Shani is. I have no right to say whatever. Yes, they do. I believe in freedom of speech strongly. I wouldn't have been a communications major if I didn't. But um, master's degree. Yeah, big deal. Yeah, well, it's still be a lot proud of good of it. it did me. My heart blew out. Be proud of it. I'm writing. A, I am writing a book and um, doing some freelance things. So, all right. We're going to wrap this up again, I guess. Yep. So there's nothing I can do to change nothing things. More to, nothing more we can do. This probably didn't do any good at all. There's nothing I can do to change things, but I got really tired of, I mean, it's just this, I don't understand why she picked today to do this, to hit me with this. I have not bothered her at all. Why did she pick it? It's not like you're going to see a lot I'm of I'm going to talk to people. I, am, I have a right to talk to people about anything that I want. This is an open public place. We still have freedom of speech in this country. I did not bully you. No, her her parents have both passed away since this. So unfortunately, they, they are not. Nobody's lying about you. I told the truth. And so did I. Shannon, learn on your father. And your I'm mother. sure we're going to get threats now with legal action because her husband is so rich and all of that. I mean, she, she, has, she has, rubs that in my face all the time. As I if said, I have to go to jail which I don't think is ever going to happen. But if I have to go to jail because of your trouble, so be it. It's not going to make me stop loving you. I'm still going to be your mother. I don't go away. And I'm not going to die, damn it, Shannon. You can stop saying that over and over again. Who's the abusive one here? You're always saying that God's going to kill me or I'm going to die soon. I'm not. I've got through the heart condition. I got through the anemia. I used to get blood Every couple of days, I sat in a chair in the oncology department every couple of days getting one, two units of blood, and then I would get two bags of iron, and it was over and over again every couple of days just to keep me going. Mm. And I got through all of that. And I had abdominal surgery. I got, yes, the tumors that were in my digestive system that was causing the bleeding. For two years, I went through it. And then it came back again just recently. I just went to the Mayo Clinic, literally got home from the Mayo Clinic for another surgery to get rid of more tumors that was in my my GI tract 
And it was literally, I got out two days before my, my daughter came up from North Carolina with the kids. And I am going to fight as long as I can. I think it's a sin to wish someone dead, by the way. Especially your mother. Yeah. You know? I, yeah, what kind of a person? I can throw that? honor thy mother and father at you. But I don't think you understand what that means. I don't think you want to understand what that means. And I think you just want to hang on to the hatred. Hang or else you wouldn't keep bringing this up. I've made two videos refuting what you've said. Two. And the first one was months and months ago. So I'm not on there once, twice, three times a week, or almost nearly every video bullying you and bad-mouthing you. I'm not the one doing it. Think about that. Good night, everybody. I hope you have a good night. And I'm really, you know... Hey, I don't know if this is going to shed light. I don't know if it's going to do. Thank you for listening. David, thank you for listening. At least I hope this opens some of your mind to this. Help her if you can. Yeah. David, you could be a big help to her. Um, even if you just redirect her or something, you know. I yeah. mean, she can, if she hates me that much, if she doesn't want me in her life, we that's don't need fine. to be there. Then tell her to go forward. Yeah. Tell her to go forward. I'm not going to stop praying for her. I'm not going to stop loving my daughter. And she can hear this. I love her too. We're never going to stop that. I carried her for nine months. I made her too. He made her. It was Close Encounters of the... What was it? <laughs> that movie we were watching that night before. I'm going to go. Goodbye, people. All right. Good night. Wow, I feel bad for them. That's rough. All right. Well, that is it. That was it. What do you think, babe? Uh-oh. Did you fall asleep again? <laughs> I think that you fell asleep, guys. Well, instead of waking him up again, I'm going to let him sleep. Obviously, he was really tired. <laughs> um. I'll have to show him the rest of it some other time. Um, thank you guys for hanging out. I had a great time, like always, with you guys. And I will be around tomorrow. Oh, Prime Mover, you're back? I thought you were going to sleep. Yeah, he's asleep, guys. Since he's not responding, I know that he must be out again. Um, well, I'm going to leave you guys with a song. With a little song. And, um... Maybe tomorrow they'll be back around. I don't know. If they are, then we'll I'll cover that. If they're not, then I'll cover something. I'll be here. So you guys have a good night. Thank you to everyone who left um who gave super chats. You guys are awesome. Make sure you check out on Discord. We have a server there now. Um, and I would love to have all of you there. And just thank you for being you. You guys are amazing. I love hanging out with you. Um, have a great night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.